Live from the Silverdome Stadium in Pontiac, Michigan, CBS Sports presents the 1979 NBA All-Star Game. Today's game is sponsored by the Transamerica Corporation. The Miller Brewing Company, Brewers of Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. And by Chevrolet and Chevrolet dealers coast to coast. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now meet the Western Conference All-Stars. Last year's Rookie of the Year in the NBA from the Phoenix Suns, six foot six inch Walter Davis. A power man also up front from the Portland Trailblazers, 6'9", Maurice Lucas. From the Seattle Supersonics in his first NBA All-Star game, 6'4", inch guard Dennis Johnson. Dennis's teammate, forward center from Seattle, 6'11", Jack Sigma. An all-star who has never missed the game in his collegiate and pro career from the Chicago Bulls, 7-2, Artis Gilmore. Also in his first all-star game, a second-year pro from the Kansas City Kings, 6-4, Otis Birdsong. And here are the West starters from the Milwaukee Bucks in his first NBA all-star game, 6-7, Marcus Johnson. Teaming with Marcus up front in his third NBA All-Star game for the Denver Nuggets, George McGinnis. And making his ninth All-Star appearance for the Los Angeles Lakers, 7-2, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The Skywalker from the Denver Nuggets, his third NBA star game, 6-4, David Thompson. The other starting guard from the Phoenix Suns, his third star game, 6-4, Paul Westfall. The trainer for the Western Conference All-Stars, Bill Jones of Kansas City. The assistant coach from the Seattle Supersonics, Les Habegger. And the head coach, a man who in 1971 was the most valuable player in this All-Star game, from the Seattle Supersonics, Lenny Wilkins. Now the Eastern Conference stars, the big man who has been the heart and soul of the Detroit Pistons for so long, seven times an NBA All-Star, Bob Lanier. Washington Bullets, the Big E, Elvin Hayes. Elvin's teammate in his fourth All-Star game, also the Washington Bullets, here's Bobby Dandridge. Here is an All-Star who has come home. He played his high school ball less than two miles away at Pontiac Central for the Cleveland Cavaliers, 6'8", Campy Russell. In his second NBA All-Star game for the San Antonio Spurs, 6'9", Larry Keenan. And here is the most amazing little man to ever play this game. The smallest man ever to make an NBA All-Star squad. We've overlooked him too long. From the Houston Rockets, Calvin Murphy. The starters for the Eastern Conference in his third game for the Philadelphia 76ers, the Dr. Julius Serbe. Another player who has come home from the Houston Rockets, his fifth NBA All-Star game, Rudy Tomjanovich. 
the starting center, only 23 and still growing, 6'10 from Houston, Moses Malone. And here's the man who received the most votes from the fans of this all-star balloting. From Detroit and now San Antonio, George Gervin. The other starting guard for the Eastern Conference in his fifth NBA All-Star game for the New Orleans Jazz, Pistol Pete Maravich. The trainer is from Detroit, Mike Abdenauer for the Eastern Conference. Now, the coaching staff for the East, the assistant coach of the Washington Bullets, Bernie Bickerstaff. And the head coach, the man who last year guided the Washington Bullets to the world championship, Dick Mata. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem, also from Detroit, the Four Tops. set to start here Steve and John and we've got the most valuable player award of course last year was won by Randy Smith well I make my prediction Calvin Murphy this is his first appearance he's like a kid in a candy store he came to play I was in both locker rooms before the game and both teams were very concerned about this game they didn't show that they were here to have fun they're here for all business Believe me, in talking to Calvin Murphy, he said this is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me since the high school finals in Connecticut. So he's ready. <laughs> John, you were surprised that both teams are taking it this seriously. Is it usually an exhibition feeling in the locker rooms? Well, I think that uh, last year in the final one that I played, it was one where everyone was really concerned about the game and involved in the game. But today it was a different feeling. They were very tense and serious about it. Saw the referees across the floor, the senior man, of course, of Madden. They're on the right. Three officials this year in the NBA. It was we see number 45 of the Eastern Conference stars, Rudy Tom Janovich. You will see that he will be wearing a face mask to protect a broken nose. Three players, John, who have come home, grew up in this area, 20 miles apart. Reem Abdul-Jabbar and Moses Malone will jump it up. Reem has played extremely well against Moses and Houston in competition between the Rockets and the Lakers. George Gervin will take the first shot. George Gervin is not going to have the problem he had in past All-Star games. He's home. He's looking at the hoop. He's going to get off the uh, gun and start. Westfall with the left hand. He'll shoot it up with either hand. The East on the board and the first turnover. And generally speaking, we have a lot of turnovers early in this game because the players are not accustomed to working with one another. They are familiar with their cuts. David Thompson now of Denver brings it up. His teammate George McGinnis goes to Westfall. Westfall slides around the screen. Picked up by Malone and out to Kareem. 
cross court McGinnis. Tom Janovich. And the East comes across with Pete Maravich in that heavy knee brace, which has burdened him this year. Coming back from surgery, the doctor. Thompson in the middle. Dishes to Marcus Johnson of Milwaukee. On the miss. Out of bounds. It'll go over to the East. George Gervin. Brent, one of the things that the players are concerned with out here, they have so much respect for each other that sometimes they overpass. Out of bounds. Kareem had touched on the end line there, so the East will keep possession. And I was just reminded that the last time Thompson played in this city, he lit it up with 73 points. That was down at Kobo. He set those nets on fire down there at Kobo. Of course, he's been playing great basketball lately, so we might see another good shooting performance from him. The pistol. Way off. And on the air ball, rebounded by Malone, and Irving had it knocked away as he drove to the glass. That ball that time was knocked out of Irving's hand. Jabbar knocked out of bounds. He's looking for some help from the official. They don't give it to him, and the West brings the ball up. Thompson to Westfall on the left, and here's McGinnis. They front Kareem with Rudy T, and now Rudy follows George, and here's Thompson. David Thompson. Strong Texas flavor to this Eastern team as Maravich of New Orleans makes it one of two for him. Jabbar checks in as he holds off Moses. Rudy T made the defensive play, but the West keeps possession and Johnson. Marcus Johnson from West The amazing ball. thing about both these basketball teams is early they're running a lot of set stuff. They seem to be setting up more than they're trying to run. Normally in all-star games, you get the breaking opportunities. And here we have a break right now with George, George McGinnis, McGinnis. On steal. Maravich brings it up for the East. Turnovers now, three against the East and none against the West. Maravich. Westfall spins inside. Now the East comes up. Maravich. Ah, tricky move off the curve. Marcus Johnson's outlet. Westfall is all alone. He'll have the easy layup oh, at the West other end. So it's 8 6 Westfall for the East. That time in the East, they were caught in a situation where they didn't have any floor balance. A good play by Marcus Johnson, looking up immediately upon receiving the rebound. So the East will have the ball out of bounds. They trail here by a field goal. First period. 29th annual NBA All-Star Game. The foul call as Julius Irving put up the shot. Irving finally getting that basketball down and deep. He said last night he's got his eyes on being the MVP also. He's not gotten off to a good start in past All-Star Games. Struggled the first time in Milwaukee. He had a great game. A lot of spectacular stuff. Today we may see some of the same. And here he is. The doctor from Philadelphia. The man who's been carrying the 76ers for the last month. He, of course, now is all alone on that team with McGinnis out in Denver. They've added Bobby Jones up front. Doug Collins, of course, would be here today, but he is injured. So Irving hits the free throw. We're 8-7. We're 8-34 to go first period. Thompson now brings it down for the West. There are the dark road uniforms. As Westfall gets free on a beautiful move, came to the glass. Goaltending the call score. Goaltending violation. Real good move by Paul Westfall that time. George McGinnis. Here he goes on a backdoor cut. George Gervin in there to goaltend the call. Good play, playing without the ball. At the other end, it was over the head by Maravich, and Moses Malone came up with the field goal. So the pistol and Malone go to work right here. You'll see it again. Oh, you see Pete come in, a little razzmatazz. He brings it right behind his head, and Malone, always active inside, takes it right up, puts the cap on it, gets fouled, doesn't get the three-point play. Now Westfall comes up. Here's the doctor. Gets free of one man to the left hand. 
Reeb to West Ball, and here's Thompson. David Thompson from West Ball. The West has so many guys back on that that they just really don't know what to do. Thompson has Marcus Johnson ahead. He pulls it right on the top. McGinnis, the man in the middle, was tripped up as he came across. Julius accidentally tripping him. Julius Helps Irving. George up. That's his first first personal first. against Julius and the first team foul on the East. Again, the East is not having the floor balance that they need, and the West has taken advantage of it two or three times today. So the Eastern Conference stars come up led by Maravich. Janovich hits the pistol. Top of the circle. It's a one-point West lead as they come down. Well, John, that leg doesn't look too bad to me. Maravich, he might have a good shot at MVP also. I talked to him before the game, and he says it's weak, and he wants to get rid of that brace at the end of the season, that, but he has to wear it this year. Gervin goes to the left, and Irving lost control of the ball on the turnover, and Westfall from behind the back. To the attack. The whistle had sounded a chance for the three-pointer as he threw the foul. Oh, Westfall has stood out in each of the last two. Oh, well, Westfall is a very offensive player, and it's cold outside, and he's beginning to heat it up in here. You'll see he comes right in. The lane opens up right there. He just takes it to the hoop, doing what he does best. Speaking of heating up, that roar was for that man, number 16. Bob Lanier, he's in his seventh NBA All-Star game, and he was added to the team by Commissioner Larry O'Brien because of the injury suffered by Doug Collins. We have his injury right there. He's got some problems with his eye. He may not get rolling yet. We also have Calvin Murphy in the game at this point, and I know that Calvin is excited to play in this one, so let's give him a look early. Six points for Westfall already. 15-11 on the strength of that free throw. Merovich with six, leading the East. And here's the little man, Calvin. Dally for the rebound. East touched it last. It'll go now to the West. And we've got our first time out here in Pontiac. So the largest crowd to ever see an NBA All-Star game is on hand here at the Silver Dome. It's in excess of 30,000. We'll be right back with the West leading 15-11. You're the harbor pilot. You take ships out to the open sea, and you do it through channels that shift and currents that can run you aground. And the only map you really trust is the one you keep in your head. Get forehead. Get forehead, sir. Now comes Miller time. Time to head for shore and the best tasting beer you can find. Miller High Life, America's quality beer since 1855. When it's time to relax, Miller stands clear. Miller tastes too good to hurry through. If you've got the time, we've got the beer, Miller Beer. When everything gets there on time, on budget, and intact. That's Lion moving in storage. That's Transamerica. When you can get more life insurance than you thought you could afford. That's Occidental Life. That's Transamerica. When it's your vacation and you fly there for less. That's Trans International Airlines. The many companies in the Transamerica family all stand for just one thing. First-rate service at a fair price. That's Transamerica. Highlights of the NHL All-Stars versus the Russians. The fight of the week. Highlights of the LA Times indoor track meet. Women surfing from Hawaii. All next Saturday on the new look CBS Sports Spectacular. You'll say, you saw it on CBS Sports. Well, Lloyd Free couldn't be with us today, but the mascot from San Diego, the chicken is here, and the crowd loves him. He's all world for sure. <laughs> he is that. Offered $100,000 to jump. 
He stayed there in San Diego. Turned down Ted Turner's six figures. He's probably making just as much down there. Saw Gene Shue last night speaking to that city, and they're doing fine, aren't they? They pulled ahead of Portland out there in the Pacific. Kareem with his first hook shot. Kareem Abdul-Jamar from David so far, Westfall and Maravich have been the hot shooters in this game. The East and White, here's Calvin Murphy to Lanier. George Gervin still there, Rudy Tomjanovich, and the Doctor. Quick pass to Calvin. Gets open. Well, the amazing thing, John, about the, the both teams is the fact that they worked the play so well early in the ball game. That time he set up very nicely behind the pick and took that open jumper. Dennis Johnson of the Supersonics on the floor as Marcus Johnson missed that shot. Scooped up by Thompson to the glass. That's what is good by and Thompson. And counts and he was fouled. So here will come David. Ball well, number 16, Bob Lanier. Well, it's tough first, when you got a match like as big as Bob Lanier as you try and get that thing set right there. Thompson David Thompson comes right over the right top. Up. Lanier is in there too David late. Thompson, Thompson gets a chance at a couple of free throws. Bob Lanier acting a little bit on that, too. <laughs> Six points for Thompson. Murphy to Gervin. Slides the baseline. The doctor wants to crash inside. The slam by Kareem. This is the doctor's kind of showcase. Not too many plays. Let's just go wide open. Like well, on the when he can get in a one-on-one -on -one situation, wide open, spread four, he can really put on a spectacular show. The problem so far today, he has not taken the ball with him. He's gone in the air, but no ball. Maurice Lucas of the Trailblazers checking in for the West. So many times in the game like this, the players really try to get to the basket a little too often. They pass up the outside shots, and I think if they start hitting a few of those, it'll open it up for Julius and people with that ability to give a good one-on-one -on -one show. And Walter Davis, last year's Rookie of the Year from Phoenix, now on the floor for the West. Dick Mata and Lenny Wilkins go to their benches, and what benches they are. Thompson comes out. Dennis Johnson. Lucas is gone to the floor. Now he's back up. Kareem inside to Thompson, and he is stuffed but foul. Elvin Hayes and Julius foul Irving. Number the foul six, is against Julius the Irving. doctor. That's his second, the team's fourth. Well, this is the only midget that hangs around underneath the Thompson basket right here. Thompson on six. Pogo sticks right there. He tries to take it up over Irving and Elvin Hayes. He gets it batted back, but he also gets the free throw. Underneath, the West is not scoring. McGinnis with a couple, Marcus with a couple, and Jabbar with a couple. So only three field goals out of that talented front line right now. He's doing very well inside on defense as they did that time. Lanier forcing the ball back outside. Brett, there are so many offensive stars in the game that when you get in a situation like this, you'll find that they also really start to play defense. David they don't want to be embarrassed at the other end. It's 22 to 15 as the West opens it up. Murphy goes diving for the ball, and as he lost it, he was tied up by Dennis Johnson. Now, Murphy's still got a little excitement in him. He's still so happy to be here. He's not gotten himself under control. He's flying all over the court. He's got the one basket, but he's not really been able to get himself under control. We'll see what happens. He's going to get the skyjack here and Dennis Johnson. Speaking of skyjacks, here's the big band from Chicago. Artis Gilmore checks in, and Kareem will take a break. One by Dennis, who tapped it off to Gilmore. So the West will come down now with Dennis Johnson, David Thompson, Artis Gilmore, Davis, and Lucas, who just had the ball knocked away by the big E, Elvin Hayes. Hayes has never missed one of these All-Star games in his career. Houston, Washington, San Diego. Davis spins in and out. Goes back now to pick up on defense. Here's Murphy. The doctor. The East would be best at trying to run, get down in a spread floor situ West, with situation. The West seems to be much better at setting up and getting the outside Maurice shot Lucas, the ball. David. Hayes comes back down on Maurice, who just scored on him. So Lucas and Hayes trade field goal. Lucas has it knocked away. Gilmore with a hand on it. Lucas. 
Knocked free again. Calvin Murphy down the foot race. It's three on two under his legs. The doctor not ready for it. Calvin got a little excited that time and <laughs> ended up making a bad pass, but I'm sure that he wants to make up for that one somewhere along the line. Doctor is just saying to Calvin right now, he's saying, Calvin, Henry Bibby didn't hit me with one of those last week. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> You see, Calvin has the ball right in the middle, and they got an excellent break. He sees Julia serving on the wing, but he doesn't give it up to him. That was Dick Mata talking to Calvin Murphy about hitting the board. Artis Gilmore has come out of the game because he gets hit right here. He got a finger in the eye. He's going to be looked at. They're over at the bench right now attending to him. So Jack Sigma of Seattle will work against Lanier in the pivot. Bill Jones over there attending to Artis, the doctor alongside him. Lucas gets Hayes up in the air and drew the foul. There's foul Artis number 11, Elvin to. Hayes. That's his first. That is that a bloody situation. nose, I believe? Yes, it is. Maurice Lucas at the line three to make two. Team fouls. The East now over the limit with five. The West with three. Brent, the West should have really come out in business suits. I mean, they have been very businesslike about this game all evening, last night, today. Ever since they've been selected here, they've been very businesslike about their approach. Bobby Dandridge out there with Bob Lanier, Julia Serving, Elvin Hayes, and Calvin Murphy for the East. It's a five-point lead by the West. Great pass by Davis to Dennis Johnson. Knocked free. Murphy to the attack. Here's the doctor. Calvin got it back that time. A beautiful three-on-two fast break. He hit Julius with the pass he could handle. Dennis Johnson. Dennis Johnson. Again, you see Murphy in the middle and Irving on the wing. This time they capitalize. He gets it down. And there's just drives on Sigma and missed the left handed shot. Thompson travels. Rattling. Otis Birdsong of Kansas City reports in for Lenny Wilkins and the West, and the West. Alexa to call a timeout right now for turnovers, seven against the East and only three against the West, and that's been a difference. It shows on the scoreboard with the West up by five. It's so wonderful to make a child's dream come true. It's a moment of love, a joyous sensation. The 1979 Chevy Malibu has the right room, right headroom, leg room, and trunk room. The right size, new family midsize. Looks like Bill bought himself a new Malibu. The right ingredients, like an impressive mileage rating and a beautiful body by Fisher. It's got the right name, Chevrolet. No wonder it's a family favorite. A fresh new slice of apple pie. Called Chevy Malibu. In business, the more efficiently you use your time, the more money you make. Time is money. So if you're spending hours dictating letters to far off places, and hours are spent typing them, I've got other work to do. Kick the letter habit. Pick up your phone and give them a ring. The phone turns your time into money. This man played in 12 All-Star games.
Best man played in 12 All-Star games. Most valuable player three times. Oscar Robertson, the big O. You must really get up for this game. Oh, it's a great classic when I played. I enjoyed it. Basketball was my life then. How about now? What you doing? Well, I'm in the construction business, but I'm here doing a job for the Pepsi Hot Shots. This is the closest I ever got to you since I guarded you. No, you got closer than that a few times, right? Believe me. <laughs> All right, Oscar. Let's go back to Brenda the boys. More basketball. <laughs> Oscar was fouled on every shot, and Hot Rod now <laughs> sit and so do the officials. Oscar looks great. He's put on a little bit of weight, likes to play some tennis. He's got a daughter who's 5'10", becoming a marvelous athlete herself. All right, back here in the white right now, Eastern Conference All-Stars. Julius outside. Off iron down, off Elvin Hayes' hands. Hold on, says Matt. we got a loose ball foul underneath. Elvin Hayes got real good inside position that time. Maurice Lucas tried to take it away from him, getting called for the foul. He wanted to know how he could jump with all that weight on his back. It's a five-point Western Conference lead right now. The East with possession. Pete Maravich going to check in soon. Hayes up high with the bounce, but didn't go down. Sickman's off. Davis to the attack. He's lightning quick, and he can come through, I'll tell you. Fine offensive forward who moves so well without the ball. There he is, popping out to get it now. Looking for an open man. Here's Birdsong. Goes back to Walter Davis. Three seconds on the shot clock. Lanier. Two minutes. Two minutes left. Calvin Murphy down the right side. Slides inside. Throws up. Elvin Hayes missed it on the out. Walter Davis off to Birdsong, who is hustling on the left, and Dennis Johnson taps it in. Well, that's what that Dennis great Johnson. will do for you. Walter Davis just flew past Bobby Dandridge and got it down, got him a quick opportunity, and they followed up. On the turnover, it's Birdsong. Lucas slows to regain control. Hits Davis. Neither team is shooting particularly well here the last couple of minutes. Dandridge. Right, I thought, I thought Dick Mata told Murphy to release and come back. What's he doing underneath the board? Minute 10 left in the first period here at the Silver Dome. Lucas gets Hayes up in the air again, and Elvin looked a bit lost there, so Lucas threw up the shot. Davis. Walter Davis. Dennis Johnson going with the doctor and a little too closely fouled him. One of the things in playing against Julius Irving so many times, you never wanted to give him that baseline because once he gets toward the hoop in that position, he's almost impossible to stop. You try and get him into a situation where you can get some help because he can't be guarded one on one. Embarrass you one on one. Penalty coming up, 32-26, and the doctor with that last free throw. There's the pistol back. Sekmas, the man down in the hole. Artis Gilmore's bloody nose not serious. I'm sure he'll be back. Sigma. Plays Jack Sigma. facing the basket very well. That's where he plays best when he can look at the hoop and get that little jump shot off. Does an excellent job of keeping opposition off balance because he puts the ball behind his head. One of the reasons he's so effective in doing that, he keeps his shoulder square to the basket, which gives him a good chance to shoot the ball directly at it rather than at an angle. Maravich bringing down the clock, and he gives it up on the turnover. Here's Birdsong. Inside oh, this field goal. So. Good Last good. second, that'll end the first period. So Otis Birdsong takes advantage of the turnover by Maravich at the end of the first period. 36 to 27. The West has opened up a lead. You see Otis go to the hole.
The Miller people promised me a case of light beer if I could keep this ball spinning for the length of this commercial. Now, I'm not one to show off, but I do just about anything for a few light beers. You see, light's got a third less calories than the regular beer, and it's less filling, so I can stay loose. But the thing I like best is the taste. And I believe at this time that somebody here owes me a case of that taste. Thanks a lot, boys. See you around. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. Hi, Charlie. If your engine isn't starting on cue, put in a fresh set of Champion spark plugs at least once a year. Champion and your engine can make beautiful music together. You can't buy a better plug. Nothing equal to the thrill of playing in the NBA. But for youth who never finished high school, there's another kind of thrill. Earn another pluma. I'm Alvin Hayes. Here in the city, youth learn self-respect and discipline while completing their education. Another example of United Way agencies working to give people a chance all year long. Thanks to you, it works for all of us, the United Way. The preceding announcement was brought to you as a public service by the National Basketball Association. We are ready to start the second period of this, the 29th annual NBA All-Star Game from the Silver Dome in Pontiac, Michigan, the Bass Stadium where the Detroit Lions play their NFL competition. And I am sure one of the many attractions that is bringing more and more conventions into this area. For example, in 1980, the Republicans will hold their national convention here in this city. Dennis Johnson throws it back to Maurice Lucas. The Western Conference All-Stars are in the blue jerseys, the East in the white, and it's Bobby Dandridge bringing it up now. The Washington Bullets, this is his fourth NBA All-Star game. He was a fourth-round draft choice. Campy Russell in for the first time. Hayes fouled as he threw up the shot. Maurice Lucas. East has a very tall team, and Campy Russell playing in the backcourt along with Maravich. That gives them Lanier, Hayes, and Bobby Dandridge up front. They got a lot of height, pretty good quickness and mobility. Again, they've had more success trying to run than setting up. So here's the man who earlier this year became the 10th player in NBA history to surpass 20,000 regular season points. He led this league in scoring as a rookie when he played for the San Diego Rockets. Played four years for the Rockets. The last one, of course, being in Houston before being traded to the Bullets for Jack Merritt. And last year, he finally got his wish, an NBA championship. The West coming down now. Second year pro also out of Houston, Otis Birdsong. Now with Kansas City teaming with Bill Ford. Dennis Johnson to Artis Gilmore. Big fella from Chicago is back after sustaining that bloody nose. Birdsong tightened up by Lanier who come out on defense. Back into the corner now, Dennis Johnson outside. And Otis Birdsong with an offensive rebound. Good fake by Maurice. Moves inside for the field goal. Maurice Lucas. 38 to 29. The West now with 11 minutes to go here in the first half. Lanier will take it up outside. He's an outstanding shooter for a big man at 6'11. Now it's Walter Davis from North Carolina trying to find daylight on the baseline. And he was blocked off there by Dandridge. Foul on number 10, Bob Dandridge. That's his first, the team's first. Walter Davis trying to use that quickness, and he gets by Bobby Dandridge to get that block call. Otis Birdsong has the ball out in front. Quick pass to Dennis Johnson, and goaltending scores. And there was up. That's a fine pass by Davis. That's his second good pass. Well, they've run great offensive set stuff. I mean, it's amazing. They've only been in here a day and been together, and they've run these patterns like they've been together for three or four months. Happy Russell played his high school basketball less than two miles away. Pass back by Maravich, and here's Lanier again. Two quick field goals by Big Bob. Great play by Maravich. He's one of the people in the league that probably sees the floor as well as anyone picking out Bob Lanier being wide open. Foul called by Bannock. Here we have Pete going toward the hoop, and he can see he's picked up by Gilmore. He knows that Bob Lanier is open. With a good fake, he goes into the hoop. Two points. That's a sweet wraparound pass right there. Not many guys can make that pass. Foul was on Hayes and Larry Keenan. 
San Antonio Spurs, number 35. He was not a bit at all bashful <laughs> down in Atlanta last year. He threw a shot up for every minute he was on the floor. Walter, Walter Davis looking smooth, hitting the passes, and now he's starting to warm it up as a shooter, too. Keenan gives it off to Maravich. Maravich with a brace on his right knee. Comes free. He's turned it over again. Maravich having trouble handling the ball. Westfall wants the foul. And oh, Hayes Westfall. wisely lets him have the field goal. Back quickly now to Campy Russell of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Keenan's on his right side. Campy will take it outside himself. Run down by Artis Gilmore, who gives it up. And here's the man doing it all for the West right now, Walter Davis of Phoenix. Pull up, jump shot. Artis Gilmore with an offensive rebound. And Artis stop Gilmore. Artis right there. Just score it when he gets the ball in that spot. 46 to 33. The West has opened up some daylight now in this game. Keenan. Down comes the West again. West ball goes back to McGinnis and Big George. In great block by Hayes, who awaited and anticipated McGinnis perfectly. The well, West has just done a better job of limiting George the East Irving to just one shot. Ball. They've come down on three lands, put the ball up from the outside, the ball, down, down, the ball off the board, got breaking opportunities, got it down. When they had to set up, they set up, and they scored. They got a 13-point lead. Marcus Johnson of Milwaukee is sent back in by Lenny Wilkins. Hayes was also taken out for the East Birdsong. Birdsong so much more effective for Cotton Fitzsimmons this year now that he's able to be the shooting guard and Phil Ford, of course, running the Kings attack. Maravich to the glass. That's a pretty play when you're that far away from the basket and they're only taking one dribble to go that distance. You know that he's doing it real well. Gervin with a great block here on Westfall went to the left hand. Back to Pete on this one-on-one -on -one move. One dribble from 18 feet away into the hoop. Good body control for the layup. Birdsong again. Otis Birdsong from West Ball. Now on the floor for the East, we've got Gervin and Maravich, Keenan handling the ball, Happy Russell, and we've also got Moses Malone back on the floor. Russell, high off the glass, good shot. He worked on that shot all day yesterday with Calvin Murphy. He lost all the horse games, but he's warmed up today. It's a very difficult shot to block. He takes it back over his head, and it's tough to get to. Timeout. West retains it, and I think you Time can out. hear Vanek yelling that we've got a timeout out here. And when you come back, Calvin Murphy of the Houston Rockets will be on the floor for the East, and they've fallen behind 50 to 37 in the second period. Copier companies have been introducing small copiers with a very interesting claim. It's just as good as a Xerox. It's just as good as a Xerox. Then one day... Now this compact copier is very versatile. Mm -hmm. It even copies on your own letterhead. Uh -huh. now, it's inexpensive, but best of all... I know, it's just as good as a Xerox. Uh, well, uh, it is a Xerox. The Xerox 2600, the compact copier that really is just as good as a Xerox. Guilty. Not guilty. Six votes guilty, six votes not guilty. Oh, I can. This could go on all day, Baylor! Pass out the right guard deodorant. Good. We got stick or spray. With right guard, stick or spray protects all day. They don't just cover up odor, they help stop odor before it starts. All day. Six took stick, six took spray. <laughs> right guard deodorant. Don't get dressed without it. To dry through dirt and dust, good filters are a must. You can trust AC. Thanks, AC. Trust those filters by AC. We're glad I installed new AC air and oil filters before we get into this mess. I bet AC helps protect those babies too, huh, Dad? If they're smart. You George! Oh. So when you gotta go, wear the name to know. You can trust AC. Thanks, AC. Trust those filters by AC. Thanks, AC. Trust those filters by AC. Next Sunday, CBS Sports presents an... Pro Tennis Doubleheader. First, see the stuffs and snuffs of NBA regional action. Then, trade your jump shots for shots like these. Live coverage of the Grand Slam of Tennis. A CBS Sports Basketball Tennis Doubleheader. Next Sunday, you'll say... You saw it on CBS Sports. Silver Dome and the Western Conference All-Stars led by Paul Westfall with nine points and four assists. 
has opened up a 50-37 lead with 8.34 to go in the first half. The West has hit 7-12 this period, 19-42 for the game. Westfall. Taken down by Malone. Took a couple of steps. Then this out was keen and off the go. Anthony Russell to the glass. Run down by Marcus Johnson. Problem for the East. They can't decide what spectacular play they're going to make. Consequently, they're missing an the easy hoop. Artis Gilmore. Artis Gilmore from McGinnis. So I gave Malone credit for a rebound. That should have gone to San Antonio's Larry Keenan, who came out of there quickly on the fly. Russell now going to Moses Malone inside through the foul from Gilmore and goes to the floor. Definitely will go to the floor when you're knocked down by a big strong left arm like that. He got him up in the air, got him to take that little elevator trip, and you'll see that arm comes right across. Malone inside deep, a good pump fake. Watch this left arm. End result, broken back. <laughs> Not that serious, Steven. Come on. This is going to be one of the outstanding players in the league. He's only... Uh, in his fourth year, but he's also an individual that would have been coming out of college or been a rookie this year. So he has a long way to go, and he's doing very well in the league. And you can tell that he's starting to fill out in the upper body. 15 over. pounds over the last summer. Gilmore, as the shot clock goes down inside 10, and the West has turned it over. So the East now trying to come back with Gervin Murphy, Russell Malone, and Keenan. They trail at 52 to 39 and 7.30 to go in the first half. Here's Keenan. The East is going to get back into the basketball game when they decide to slow down, get themselves under control, take advantage of the miscues and the turnovers. There'll be plenty of them, and they've got a lot of offensive firepower. Speaking of taking advantage of turnovers, they've got a chance right here to convert after Artis Gilmore's traveling violation. Durbin gets free of Birdsong coming to the glass. George fouled as he assaulted the hoop that time. We have a real good pass coming up. The defender Birdsong Loses his man momentarily. Gervin going into the basket. Body control. He tried to get a little too much English on it. Ended up being fouled. Did not get the three-point play. Thompson returns and Birdsong out. And here is George Gervin, who won the NBA scoring title, responding to Thompson's 73-point production that final Sunday with 63 points. Not a bad day. The only reason he couldn't get 70, he just got tired. Six foot seven inch guard. Irvin goes down on defense, matched against David Thompson. Westfall hit in the face by Calvin Murphy. It was accidental, and Calvin knew it right away. So we're going to have a timeout called by Dick Potter and the Eastern Conference All Stars. The West, in their dark blue, leads it 54 to 43. Six minutes and 59 seconds to go right now in the first half. Olympic medalist Susie Korok for Color Track by RCA. My hat's blue, my vest is yellow, and my pants are hot dog red. If these colors don't look right, see them on a 1979 Color Track. Getting the color right is what it's all about. And now, with channel lock tuning, it tracks the color more automatically than ever. Before you see the color, the Color Track system grabs it, aligns it, defines it, sharpens it, tones it, and locks the color on track. RCA is making television better and better. I've played out of some monsters before, but this one's something else. It's the Terex Titan, the world's largest truck. It's the big daddy in the Terex line of off-highway equipment. Equipment used worldwide for mining, logging, and heavy construction. Whether it's playing golf or moving mountains, you need the right iron. And baby, that's a lot of iron. Woo! <laughs> You know, for too long now, bowers have been left out of light beer commercials. And football players have been grabbing all the glory. But bowlers know light beer from Miller tastes great. We know light's got a third less calories than the regular beer. We know light's less filling. Bowlers love light just as much as football players. That's right. And we also love the easy opening can. You sure do. <laughs> light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less.
Mr. Larry O'Brien of the NBA. And I understand, Larry, that there's going to be expansion in the future for the NBA. Yes, there's been a lot of interest expressed around the country from a number of cities, Hot Rod. And we're going to be taking a look at these applications of these cities. We'll go to no more than two-team expansion by no later than 80-81 season. I want to thank you for that seat you gave me. No, I saw you up there. Didn't you just notice I was calling you? You're going to have my seat right after this interview, Howard. Right. I'll go back up there because you're entitled. You've been in this game before. Thank you. We'll be talking to you after the game with the Most Valuable Player Award. Now back to Brent and the guys. Uh, why didn't the commissioner ask him if he ever passed the ball in this game? That's what I want to know. <laughs> ever in life, did he? <laughs> In I'd one game, on. I think he shot 15 times in 14 minutes. <laughs> Is that right? Here's Paul Westfall. He got a leg up now, if you want to think about the MVP award in this competition. He's been pursuing it for each of the last couple of years. Here's Calvin, 23. He's always got that leg up, but never gotten it down. <laughs> Here he is right now. Gives it up to Thompson on the right wing, and David comes in with a great move. Yank the ball at the last second and it's showtime for the Western Conference 56 points already and the frustrated East trying to dig in well that's Calvin Murphy coming back at you he just feels like they're doing a little too much watch Thompson a little show and tell way up in the air and just glides in nice if you can jump that high Gilmore looking for an open man shot clock inside of 10 George McGinnis George McGinnis so oh, that's 58 points with still six minutes and 10 seconds to go in the first half in this all-star game. And if you like shooting, you're going to love the rest of this one. Here they come again. Westfall. Again, oh, Westfall, Westfall trying, trying to, to draw it. the foul as he came to the glass, and he almost lost control that time. Well, the West has just had great defense, taking advantage of all the loose balls and turnovers and great offense that they're in. 13 points, Steve, for Westfall already in this competition. The East has turned it over. They are completely frustrated right now. They're giving up a lot of cheap baskets. That must be about the fifth fast break. No one person just going to the hoop with no defender back. They have to get much better floor balance to get back into the game. <laughs> Hot Rod Hundley has found his next guest. <laughs> All right, David Thompson now bringing it up. Here they come. They have been awesome so far. The Western Conference All-Stars in blue. Big George of Denver. Westfall inside to the Gilmore. Who rolls in that hurt shot. Gilmore. They're unstoppable right now. Gervin picked up by Thompson. Alvin Murphy lets the doctor have it inside. Doctor dishing it off, went out of bounds. And the East will keep possession as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar checks in. And I believe Bob Lanier will soon be in also. Yes, here he is from the Eastern Conference Stars. You can see him there in the background. The thing that the East must do now is just put the ball in the air. They have tried to make the big spectacular passes. In some cases, they've been successful, but they haven't gotten the ball in the air enough to really get a chance to score. Doctor quickly hits one. They've scored 47. The West up with 62 and five minutes to go in the first half. Tom Janovich will soon check back in for Dick Mata, too. Thompson and Westfall in the backcourt. McGinnis, Kareem, and Marcus Johnson back. Give and go to McGinnis. Went to the left hand. Tapped it back in on the other George side. McGinnis. George McGinnis had the flu yesterday, and he certainly doesn't show it today. <laughs> Worked on his offensive rebounding that time. Got a great pass from Jabbar inside. Happy Russell to Lanier. Lanier giving it up, and they lose it on the turnover. It'll go to the West. Well, he begged for this one. Please let me have it. You'll see the cutter comes in. McGinnis makes a great move right there to get himself right and up at the hoop. He can't get it down the first time, but second time he does. McGinnis has fouled out of 14 games with Denver this season, and that team is 1-13 and 13 in those 14 games. Demonstrates his value as he puts it down, and he was fouled that time. So George McGinnis. Formerly of Indiana and then with the Philadelphia 76ers, he has scored 386 points from the foul line. So that ranks him second this year in the NBA. And here's the big horse. George McGinnis has been to the free throw line more than anyone else in the NBA this year. He's averaged about 11 free throws a game. The thing is, most of the time, he's against a person who's much slower and he takes advantage of his quickness. He's 6'8, but he plays like a guy who's 6'3 or 4. Demonstrating that one-handed form. That is 66 points for the Western Conference All-Stars with four 
20 to go. George Gervin. Rolling one up and in, and you can hear the whistle. There was also a foul on it. So magnificent George Gervin, who certainly is one hot hand who could help bring the Eastern Conference back into this game if he can erupt that high arching shot. Six foot seven inch guard. The way they'll be successful in getting back in this game is to try to get the ball off the board and run. If they can play some pretty good defense that they're in, they'll get a chance to get some breaks and get some hoops. And the men who are on top and very much in command go to work again. McGinnis giving it up. Westfall gets position on Murphy. McGinnis again. Missing this time underneath. Marcus Johnson coming back up, and there was a foul underneath. Foul on number 16, Bob Well, John, we know why these guys came to play right here. That's right. The winner's going to get $1,000. The loser's going to get $650. And believe me, the West is going at it right now. This may be the best, the best two-way player in the game, Marcus Johnson. I think that in his second year, he's developed the outside shot that has really opened up his game. There's no telling what he's going to do. He plays both ends of the floor as well as anyone. They're playing like pool boys. <laughs> Jack Sickman, number 43, has returned for the West. Coach Lenny Wilkins. You would think with the coaching matchups that the two men who guided teams to the championship last year would get the nod. Not so. Dick Mott and Lenny Wilkins had the best records in their respective conferences in mid-January. On the turnover to steal, it's Thompson. We have an interesting situation here. Dick Mott has gone to Julius Irving and George Gervin in the backcourt thinking that they may be able to post some of the smaller guards on the opposite end of the floor. If they could keep the ball at this end of the court, they may have a shot at it. And it finally goes down. Here is that play again on the stuff. David Skywalker just soaring to the glass for the Western Conference. They have scored 70 points now in the first half. Abdul Jabbar turns around at the baseline. Marcus Johnson gives the West a second chance. Bob Lanier. Irvin in the middle. Takes once and cuts up and in. Watch what they have to do. They have to put the ball in the air. They ought to get down quickly and set up. They're not too good at running their patterns and their set offense. So if they can get down and get the quick shot, they got a chance. Irvin now with nine points, seven here in the second period. He has warmed up. Okay. For oh, Westfall. Johnson turns around on Rudy T. Lanier with a hand run down by Sigma, who gets it off as he goes to the floor, and it's Thompson inside. Slam back down by Marcus. Marcus Johnson. Marcus Johnson displaying his jumping ability. 72 points for the Western Conference with 2.20 to go here in the first half. Again, you'll see, they're playing like they're very hungry. The ball goes off the glass, Thompson inside, no box, a good play. And Gervin single-handedly keeping the Eastern Conference in this now. 11 points. Two, Kareem rolls in that sky, hooks all four points. They got 74 points, they all want some of it. He's begging for the ball down and deep. That's his favorite spot right there, no problem. Irving on the miss. Abdul Jabbar has it taken away as he put it behind his back. The doctor was still there and he picked him clean. Off with a shot, Lanier. That's what the East has to do. They have to get more than one shot at the basket. That time Lanier was able to put in the layup. Whistle as Thompson began the drive. And the Western Conference All-Stars have called a timeout. So the East will go to Dick Mata. The West, meanwhile, will go over and huddle around Lenny Wilkins. 128 to go, and they've scored 74 points already. Get ready to save on a special Chevy Bonanza fleet side pickup. With this option package, Bonanza Big Ten fleet side pickups are priced up to $400 less than if you ordered everything separately. It includes air conditioning, automatic transmission, comfort tilt steering wheel, cruise control, power windows, and a whole lot more. All of Bonanza facts now. Participating Chevy dealers. All the way the savings on a tough Chevy Big Ten fleet side pickup. Chevy trucks built to stay tough.
Because we fly the world every day, we've learned what the world wants from an airline. They want attention, and they want to be left alone. They want a tradition of experience and a lot of young ideas. Pan Am. Outward bound, Rota, Spain. The Navy. See your local recruiter or call toll free. It's not just a job, it's an adventure. The Western All-Stars, they're up by 16 points, and Paul, you're playing great, great lead. Well, we're moving the ball well, and we're keeping the court spread, and uh, we're getting a lot of easy shots. They're missing their shots, and we're able to get the, get the rebound and move, beat them down the court. You're not going to let up uh, in that second half, are you? they got a lot of stars. Well, uh, last year we let up, and we paid for it, so uh, we're going to try to beat them by as many as we can. All right, Paul. Paul Westfall, back to you, Brent. Thank you, Hot Rod. With a minute 28 to go, Paul Westfall and the Western Conference All-Stars have scored. 74 points. The record for one half was set by the West back in 1962-86. Now give them 75. They've got an outside shot at it. So far in this period, the West has hit 17 of 30, 57 percent. The East has shot better than they did in the opening period, 12 of 21, also 57 percent. And it's this man, George Gervin, who has shot the best for Dick Mata in this period, partially deflected out of bounds. It was off Kareem's hand. It'll go to the East. Elvin Hayes will take the ball out of bounds. So with so much firepower, if they relaxed, as Westfall indicated they did the last year in Atlanta, the East could jump right back in this. Here's Tom Janovich. Looks like a hospital ward out there with knee braces, nose guards. Lanier rolled up a miss, taken down by Abdul Jabbar. David Thompson off to his left, and here's Dennis Johnson from the left corner now. They're 77 inside of a minute. Johnson. They're not going to make it. Well, they're not spectacular, but they're awfully businesslike. So next, we'll have a report from 24 hours of Daytona. Ken Squire down there covering for CBS. Gervin runs it down. Um, Janovich is off. West comes down on the tack. Here's Marcus Johnson giving it back to David Thompson. Dennis Johnson. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Five on five. Marcus gives it back. So the two UCLA stars working together, and Kareem with a chance for a three-point play. And hey, there's a grand old man of the NBA, Eddie Gottlieb. I'll bet he has seen every All-Star game. He's seen every one of those, and he might have seen the start of that pick and roll. Whoever invented it, he might have been right next to them. I think he invented this game, didn't he? <laughs> I'll tell you, he puts together the schedule every year, and they've tried to do it this with a computer, but Eddie Gottlieb is the man who comes up with the right answers every year. Oh, here is Abdul Jabbar at the free throw line. He's got the Los Angeles Lakers poised for a run at the championship. The last 19 seconds here in the first half. But at halftime, besides Daytona, we've got Pepsi Hot Shot competition. We'll check in on the Crosby Clam Bay Golf Tournament and the Trident Award to the player who received the most votes, George Gervin. Put back up by Tom Janovich, still not there. Sigma off of the outlet, and the first half has come to an end. The shootout from the Silver Dome in Pontiac, Michigan. 80 points for the West. They lead the East right now, 80-58. We'll go to Daytona. Hot shot. Literally. The unknown basketball. The East will have to do it with Gerving, Hayes, and Lanier on the floor right now. Starting it off for the West, who were torrid in that second period. Abdul Jabbar, Paul Westfall, David Thompson, Marcus Johnson, and George McGinnis. Westfall hit six of ten, and Thompson six of eight. They were the two scoring leaders for the Western Conference. 80-58, West in the blue. McGinnis using Kareem as the screen. Pat Irving skies to the board. 
Here's the pistol now. Remember, three turnovers. You give it up now to George Gervin. Jump pass inside. Julius to the offhand. Two men in blue, and Kareem controls for McGinnis. And here's now Marcus Johnson on the left. He's smooth, gliding to the glass. There was a whistle as he came in on Gervin. Foul against George. So if you're wondering when was the last time we had 150 points scored by a winning team, well, Steve Jones got out the record book and found it was back in 1962. And Wilt Chamberlain threw in 52 for the losers. It was the West 150, the East 130. And congratulations to the big guy out in L.A. who I'm sure is watching. He watches everything on the tube in that multi-million dollar home of his. He has been named the Basketball's Hall of Fame. There was no question about that. A great player who's done a great deal for basketball. Just a matter of time. Good, John. He's out there playing volleyball and everything. All right. Here's the pistol now to the left. Takes it back from Irving. Westfall checking over his left shoulder for that screen. It's there, but the pass is inside underneath. And the tap-in goes down. So quickly, Dr. he gets a couple of field goals, and Kareem is loose. Good heads-up play by Westfall. He saw Kareem sprinting down the floor, beating Lanier. Good fundamental play. And Kareem's not out his goggles on. Though. He's taking them off. I believe that is the first time I have seen Kareem without his goggles since the Westfall almost stole it. Maravich got it back. And I wonder, Steve, if maybe they're not broken and he doesn't have another pair. Here is Lanier blocked by Abdul Jabbar. Durbin throws it up. Julius Irving. Got it. At halftime. Dick Motter told him, like an old coach told me, let's cloud up and rain all over him. And that's what the East is doing. <laughs> that's some old coach you have. I understand that coach. His pass goes inside. There's a foul. Boy, in a strange scene, Kareem stayed without those goggles as you watch him in underneath. And the Big E, shades of that duel down in the Astrodome, that was the first time that Kareem was ever injured as you watch Irving go back over the head with his stuff. Elvin Hayes accidentally got a finger in Kareem's eye. That was back in college days. And, of course, later he went to the goggles just to protect himself. Marcus Johnson. Here's Gervin. He's now can put a streak together. The doctor. Taken back down by McGinnis now to the west. It's three on one. Here's Westfall going back to Marcus Johnson. Blocked by Lanier on defense. And they go down in a heap. We're going to have a jump ball. The applause for hustling Lanier. Well, you see, the control is so important in basketball. The East had an opportunity to get a break. Julius serving a little bit out of control, forced up a shot, didn't get it. They came back down. Marcus Johnson having a real tough time getting the ball down. He gets it up, but he gets tied up by Bob Lanier. John, where did Hot Rod Hundley go? Is he over there in that chicken costume here this half? There was <laughs> one to show up in anything. Never know where the rod's going to be. Started out in the upper balcony here today. Westfall going back to Kareem, who was alone. Ricochets off Maravich, misses it. Hayes control now for the East. 82 to 64. The goggles have shown up, Brent, so he's not going to go the game without them. There they are. Irving, that, perhaps he just forgot to put them on when he came out to start the half. As physical as it is sometimes, he may have lost it in a scramble yes. underneath the boards. Indeed, there he goes. Kareem, so the goggles are tucked back in place, and the Western Conference All-Stars are ready to roll again. It's 82, 66, 9, 8 to go in the third in the NBA All-Star game. A lot of cars are like pizzas. To get a lot on them, you've got to pay a lot extra. But not the 1979 Chevy Chevette. It comes with a lot already on it. Chevette ignores the pizza principle. With it, you get an AM radio, reclining bucket seats, console, white striped tires, and more, all at no extra cost. So avoid the pizza principle. Hi, Richie. Get a car with a lot already on it. Get the best-selling hatchback in America, Chevy Chevette. It's a lot of car for the money. Hi, Richie. Hi, kid. Zenith presents a breakthrough. A breakthrough. System 3. System 3. The best Zenith ever. The best ever. An advanced picture tube for the sharpest Zenith picture ever. Sharpest picture. A totally modular chassis. All modular. Designed to be the best performing, the most reliable color TV in Zenith history. The most reliable. Zenith. System 3. Zenith. System 3. It's the best Zenith ever. Basketball is the all-American game played everywhere in the USA and in 142 nations of the world. 
But nowhere is it played better than in the NBA. As NBA commissioner, I'm also proud to be a trustee of the Basketball Hall of Fame in my hometown of Springfield, Massachusetts, where basketball history is preserved and displayed and its founders and heroes honored. We invite you to visit the Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts and our NBA arenas throughout the country. An 8-2 spurt right now by the East. Pistol Pete Maravich has made five in a row, 82-66. And the West down on the attack. Thompson takes Kerbin and rotates over to the weak side. Kareem, turn around on Lanier. Taken down by Elvin Hayes, they can run to 10 to. Here's Maravich, one of the doctor. On the turnover, it'll be the West right back. Thompson trying to find daylight was fouled as he came inside. George Gervin is home, but he may just sit on that bench there for a while. That's three straight fouls on him. They have really taken advantage of defensively right there. Thompson just blows by him. He almost gets a three-point play. He's on the line. So David Thompson in his fourth pro season, third in the NBA, and he has been a member of the Western Conference All-Stars in each of those three years. Starter, as a matter of fact, each time out. 83-66 now. West in command. Maravich with a run of five straight. Crossbow on it back to the doctor. Doctor goes down. He was struck in the back. Loose ball foul. He's all right. This ball foul on number 30, George McGinnis. They were successful on that play a little earlier, and you'll see it coming up. Julius Irving is going behind a double pick. Maravich throws the ball high, but he gets fouled from behind. Maravich, five of six as he comes up with a miss, and Irving's got it back to the east. Free ball tapped by Lanier. On the fly. It's Thompson to West Falls, four on one. Back now to Marcus Johnson. This is where the West has been so effective. They had a four-on-one break that time, and if you give up that many cheap baskets, you're going to be in trouble. So only the one thing that the West has done, and the East is trying to do that now, is just put more balls in the air. You got a chance if you put it up. You got no chance if you're kicking it around in the stand, letting the chicken play with it. Chicken will turn it into a football like he did a few <laughs> minutes ago. And here's Marcus Johnson of the Milwaukee Bucks. Eighty-five for the Western Conference. Maravich, Irvin, Hayes, Lanier, and Irving on the floor for Dick Mata in the East. Pistol wanted to pass, and Lanier ran down the loose ball. Lanier did not expect to be driving baseline in that sequence. He made the most of it. Johnson regains. Batted away from Kareem and out of bounds. Western Conference controls. Vanek, Evans, Madden, the three officials. The East has just done a better job so far playing defense. They've made the West put the ball up more from the outside, limiting their chances to get those cheap, easy breaks. Four on one at the other end. Field goal layup is missed. Long pass to Westfall. Oh, he is outstanding with either hand. I think he goes to that offhand better than anybody in the NBA. He and Bobby Jones are probably the two best in close with either hand. There's Kareem dueling Lanier. Gervin, high arch. Yank down McGinnis. Westfall. Bounce to the corner. McGinnis on the assault gives it up. Marcus Johnson. Pretty play that night. It's like they've worked it together. 89 to 68. McGinnis now with four steals, and Hayes is pounded away for 11 rebounds in this game. Irving against Marcus Johnson. Got it over to Elvin. Run down by McGinnis on the fly. Here comes the West. He went to the offhand. Two Eastern Conference players go tied up. Hayes gets the ball, and McGinnis comes right down on him. And it's going to be a turnover. 
Well, you see him again. It's right there. He came on the break, got the ball. There's two Eastern players right there with the ball. They call Elvin Hayes and Pete Maravich for walking. That's George McGinnis just did a little dive on top to make sure. That was a free shot. Moses Malone. Kareem looking for a teammate rather than the shot. And finally gets the Marcus. David Thompson goes in there with the Giants and with that great leaping ability finds daylight above them. And the doctor on the dribble. Bobby Dandridge. Hayes was hacked by McGinnis coming inside the lane that time on his drive. So we'll have a timeout right now. The foul going against George McGinnis. We've got six minutes and 37 seconds to go. Third period NBA All-Star game. Pontiac, Michigan. It's 91-68. The West in command. America, if you're looking for a truly beautiful full-size car with more rear seat legroom, more headroom, this is it. And more trunk room. This is it. The new Chevrolet, bought and embraced by more than a million people in its first two years. 79 Caprice and Impala, the new generation car America has driven to the top. This is it. America, the new Chevrolet. My wife got the house, but I got the Sony. Darn. I thought they were going to give me a Sony. Most people feel very special about Sony Trinitron color TVs, probably because Sony Trinitron color TVs are very special. You see, it's not just a TV. It's a Sony. I hope he's not disappointed. I think he was expecting a Sony. Now you've got it. A cold. Maybe the flu. You want something strong, yet safe for your aching muscles, aching bones, aching head. Misery's the leading cold capsule can't help. But Anison can. Look, all of these relieve those aches safely, used as directed. All but one are regular strength. Only Anison combines that safety with extra strength. Have a good day. Sure will. Anison, safety with extra strength for aches of colds and flu. This is Jane Kennedy, the prettiest pirate of the NFL today. And Jane, what are you doing here with basketball? Well, I'm going to be doing some of the features for the half times of the NBA game, getting into the uh, playoffs, so I thought I'd come down and take a look. Everybody should have a little popcorn at a basketball game. Right? Have All right, Brent, come on back. Hi, Brent. I really resent that. The prettiest part of the NFL today. Speaking of the NFL today, my former partner, Phyllis George is here with her husband-to-be, John Y. Brown, the owner of the Boston Celtics. They've announced their engagement. Congratulations to both of them. They are to be married in March in New York City. Elvin Hayes, turn around, hit it. Basket is good by Hayes. Good Irving. Ball at number 30. Irving and Thompson, 17 points each. Westfall, 15 points and five assists. Our individual leaders so far in this All-Star game. John Havlicek, what if you're the East of the coach here? What, what, what do you tell these guys? How do they get back in the basketball game? Well, one of the things they have to do is try and get low for some good percentage shots. They've been in a situation where they forced a lot of shots trying to make the spectacular play. What about that defense? The defense is definitely something they have to improve on. Walter Davis has checked in on the turnover. Hayes with control. Irving batted it free. And it's the doctor. And the doctor is trying hard to yank his conference back into a curve yes, man. with the field goal. Again, they've gone with another tall lineup. They've got Irving and Gervin back in the backcourt. Dandridge and Malone and Elvin Hayes up front. If they can get an opportunity to run, they have an excellent chance of getting back into game 540 left. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. And the doctor just kind of dropped the hand momentarily and Paul went to the shot. Paul's played so much horse, he has all kinds of shots out here. Hayes, that familiar spot. Moses Malone of Houston, fouled as he came back up with the shot. And Dennis Johnson 
checking back in. Well, number 33. I was talking about familiar spots. Moses Malone down in deep. He's the best offensive rebounder in the league, possibly in the history of the NBA. He gets in deep. He's got to be boxed that time. No box. He's on the free throw line. As we look at Paul Westville trying to get comfortable, as he's had a tremendous game so far. Steve, you pointed out his tremendous offensive rebounding. Moses has led the NBA in each of the last two years in that category set a league record with 437 a couple of years ago. He has 352 right now, 30-some games left. Again, it slides face on the line, whistle going with the shot going up. Rudy T. Rudy Tomchanovich. If you're wondering about the face mask and the injury that Rudy suffered last year, it is not a direct result of it. That nose was broken again this year when hit accidentally. But it is such a pleasure to see this man back in basketball. He, of course, missed almost all of last season after an unfortunate incident in Los Angeles. And the Houston Rockets are playing well. Our old buddy Rick Berry now on that team. I'll tell you, it's kind of strange not only to not see John Havlicek out there, not to see Rick Berry, no one from the Celtics, the Knicks, or the Warriors. That's the first time in history that those three teams haven't been represented in an all-star game. So somewhat of a changing of the guard in the NBA. Here's Bobby Dandridge. He's been on four of these teams now. Washington, he puts one up. He came open in the middle. Nice play. Elvin Hayes now playing with those five personals. And that's why Dick Bonner wanted to give him a break. Davis gave it off, and it was for Dennis. Real good play by Lawler Davis that time. Going to the hoop, found out he was picked up by two men, hit the open man for the stuff. 96 points up there by the Western Conference already. Away from Rudy, runs it down. Control is very important in this game, and the East has been out of control. Tom John Rudy John 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 in his range. They need more plays like that. Well, Rudy T., the former Wolverine, grew up 20 miles from here. Put it in. David Thompson on the foul. If they play more defense like that, they're going to come up with a lot more steals and be able to get to a situation where they can close the lead. Here we have Julius. It's a four-on-one. Going to the hoop. Didn't get the lay-in. On the line for two shots. Campy Russell returns to the Campy Russell returns and Durbin leaves. Campy, of course, from the Cleveland Cavaliers, possesses as fine a fadeaway jump shot as you ever want to see. Like Rudy okay, Steele from Wolverine. All the East wants to do is get within 10 at the top of the fourth period. They got a shot at this basketball game. They're 16 down now, four minutes left. Dandridge, they need all of his. It's 81. So whittling away here in the third period. And Steve, you pointed out, I think the key element strategically, they went to the big goal.
you see once again live the second place automobile now being driven by John Morton Ferrari running second Porsche running first in the 24 hours of Daytona as we move toward the conclusion which you will be seeing live later today here on CBS now let's go back to Brent Musburger and we look first at the standings there's the zero car in first with Field and Gaius and Haywood Adam Woodson Morton running in second and we'll be back with the finish later this afternoon. The NBA on CBS will continue after this word from your local station. Sylvester Stallone in the unforgettable role of a third-rate fighter with one last chance to reach out for a dream. Rocky, Sunday at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Tonight on CBS. conclusion of our NBA All-Star Game and of course each of our NBA telecasts we have selected a Chevrolet most valuable player of the game now in conjunction with this today there's going to be a very special All-Star Game award Chevrolet will present a check for twenty five hundred dollars to the general scholarship fund of the players college or university now any student may be eligible to benefit from these scholarship funds and today's winner will be announced at the end of our all-star game the vote of course will be taken by the sports writers and the broadcasters covering the contest and after our NBA all-star game here in Pontiac Michigan we've still got a lot of sports coming your way on CBS the Crosby Pro-Am Tournament from the West Coast. Let's go to Vin Scully for an update right now. Vin? The 38th Bing Crosby National pro Amateur has come a long way from 1937 in Rancho Santa Fe and a $3,000 purse. Now in 1979, the 38th is for $300,000. First place, $54,000. But perhaps Catherine Crosby put it best when talking about her late husband. She said, Bing was not only an institution, he has become a place. And the place is the Monterey Peninsula, the home of the Bing Crosby 38th National Pro-Am. We have magnificent weather, and we'll see about Lon Hinkle, whether he can hold on to his lead. That's the story for now. Now back to the NBA All-Star Game. All right. The Pepsi Hotshot competitions have been held all around the country, and we've been having some semifinals. Let's go now to Don Crickey for a report. Ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon we'll see the Phoenix area finals of the Pepsi-Cola NBA Hotshot program. The Hotshot competition began with over two million youngsters competing. The six you'll see today are some of the best from the West. The Hotshot game is a one-minute race against the clock. Points can be scored from five marked areas on the court. They are 12 feet, two points, 21 feet, four points, 24 feet, five points, 15 feet, three points, and 15 feet, three points. Two layups can also be shot for two points each, and a three-point bonus is awarded if at least one shot is taken from all five hot spots. All right, for our first competition, boys 16 to 18 in the orange, Clint Lindsay from Phoenix. In the blue, Carlton Pennington from Albuquerque. This is the last 15 seconds of their third and final round. Carlton has the lead at this point, 57 points to 45. Despite good point totals, neither player, though, is in position to challenge the leader. Carlton Pennington hitting one at the buzzer to finish with 60. 
And our leader is Kevin Pettit from Litchfield Park, Arizona. He came in with 61 points going into the final minute of shooting. Has already built that up to 71 points, and unbeknownst to him, he can't be caught. Kevin Pettit, a jump shooter with great foot speed, moving to the ball very quickly and going right out for those big gainers from the outside. With 75 points and time running out, he hits a three-point jump shot to close with 78 and first place. Next, girls 16 to 18. In the green is Caroline Ellis from Phoenix, Arizona. In the gold, Danielle Hickman from Peoria, Arizona. Caroline comes into this final round in second place with 30 points. Danielle in third trails Carolyn by only five points. It is close enough that a good showing by either player to put her in position to take it all. Down to 35 seconds to go now. Caroline in green is the leader. And Danielle Hickman on the left. Going after that basketball and keeping it in the air, trying to catch up with 25 seconds to go. Now you see Caroline Ellis with a lead of eight points. And two more builds the lead to 10. So it looks as though Caroline Ellis is going to be our leader with one hot shot competition remaining. Now they come down to the final effort. Watch Danielle Hickman throwing one up at the buzzer. It goes through, but she didn't have her foot on a hot spot. It didn't count. Caroline Ellis, a seven-point winner. And now looking to overtake the leader, Debbie Camacho. Debbie goes into her final minute of shooting with 35 points, needing a good round of 17 to overtake the current leader, Caroline Ellis. Debbie Camacho a little cold at the outset, but she's one of the fastest shooters in the competition. In fact, the average one minute of shooting, she'll get three or four more shots than most of her opponents because of her foot speed. Now she's closer to within 13 as Debbie Camacho moves outside. Looking for the four-point play, she moves in for the reach for the little two-pointer, brings her within 11. Now Debbie Camacho gets a three-point bonus because she's tried a shot from all five hot spots on the floor. Another layup for two brings her to within six. She pops the long one, a four-pointer. Now she's within two points of the leader, Caroline Ellis. And a three-pointer gives Debbie Camacho the lead. As she comes down the stretch, it'll be Debbie Camacho, the leader and the victor in the girls' 16 to 18 competition. And here are the winners of the Hot Shot Phoenix Area Finals. Boys 16 to 18, Kevin Pettit. Girls 16 to 18, Debbie Camacho. Everyone associated with the Hot Shot program wishes to thank the hundreds of city recreational departments, WISE, and other youth organizations whose support has helped to make the Hot Shot program a huge success. Tune in for the Hot Shot finals during the NBA playoffs in May. The Western Conference stars returning after they hit a blistering 56% in the first half. They've scored 80 points. We'll be right back. You know me as Mr. Goodwrench, the professional mechanic who cares about your GM car. But your participating GM dealer also has a Mr. Goodwrench who cares at the service write-up desk and in the parts department. We're all over the service department just to be sure your GM car gets Mr. Goodwrench professional care. You never had it so good. Keep that great GM feeling with Mr. Goodwrench. That's, That's us. us. And genuine GM parts. Here's to good friends. Tonight is kind of special. Hey, where's Bob? I thought he was with you. Oh, you're kidding. He's not down yet. Hey, look, did something happen? Let's start looking. Hey! Come on alone, bro! Bob! When you want the taste of a truly great American beer, tonight, let it be low and brown. Hey, you know, for a minute there, you really had us worried. I know. And thanks. Low and brown. We're going to take you on an impossible business trip. 26 cities in 25 seconds. You'll find an airport Hilton in every one of these cities. So the next time you have an impossible business trip, remember Hilton. We can make an airport a great place to get your feet back on the ground. There's no place like Hilton. Yeah. 
The NBA on CBS is sponsored by Chevrolet and Chevrolet dealers coast to coast. Light beer, everything you always wanted in a beer and less. And by the General Motors Parts Division. My pleasure to introduce John Ammerman, who is the new president of the American Chickle Division of the Warner Lambert Company. John, welcome. Thank you very much, Brent. The Trident Player of the Year Award is given by basketball fans to the player who receives the most votes in the NBA balloting. In the past, this award has been won by Rick Barry, David Thompson, and Julia Serving. But this year, a record number of votes were cast for George Gervin of the San Antonio Spurs. George, it's my pleasure to present you the Trident Player of the Year Award on behalf of Trident Sugarless Gum and your fans. Hey, thank you very much, John. I'd like to thank you and Trident for the award. And I'd like to thank the many fans across the United States that voted for me. And I'd like to really pay a special thanks to my fans in San Antonio. They're the greatest, aren't they, Big George? Hey, they're the greatest. Okay, and we are just about ready to start the second half. 75 points scored in the second quarter. 44 for the West, 31 for the East. 19 field goals by the West. That is an all-time record for one period in all-star competition. Every player in the game so far has scored at least two points. One of the things that has plagued the Eastern Conference stars has been turnovers. Maravich has turned it over three times. Gervin three times. And Calvin Murphy three times. So, Steve Jones, you and John Havlicek, come on in here now and fill us in on these stats. Well, you look at those stats, John, and the big difference you can see again is that one team has been able to play better defense, which has been the West, been able to execute better. What do you think the East is going to have to do to get back in it? Well, the East really has to start playing a little better defense. Their shot selection was not as good, and the reason the West is out the way they are, they have 14 assists as compared to seven or nine, I believe, by the East, so they have good ball movement. The East is going to have to be more patient with the selection of their shots and play better defense. John and Steve, uh, I thought for a moment that the East <laughs> was going to attack with 12 men. Over at the scoring table is a gentleman dressed in a warm-up suit from the Kansas City Kings who came out as an additional man. He was an imposter, and he was shooting layups with the Eastern Conference. He's over there checking with Brian Hitsky of Detroit. They had to escort him off the floor. He went over to the huddle, and Dick Mata looked up and said, I don't want to be rude, but who are you? <laughs> well, the Players Association is trying to get the roster back up to 12 men. They were a little too early. <laughs> the the second half. So the unknown basketball player has left, and the East will have to do it with Gervin, Maravich, Irving, Hayes, and Lanier on the floor right now. Starting it off for the West, who were torrid in that second period. Abdul Jabbar, Paul Westfall, David Thompson, Marcus Johnson, and George McGinnis. Westfall hit six of ten, and Thompson six of eight. They were the two scoring leaders for the Western Conference. 80-58, West in the blue. McGinnis using Kareem as the screen. Pat Irving skies to the board. Here's the pistol now. Remember, three turnovers. You give it up now to George Gervin. Jump pass inside. Julius to the offhand. Two men in blue, and Kareem controls for McGinnis. And here's now Marcus Johnson on the left. He's smooth, gliding to the glass. There was a whistle as he came in on Gervin. Foul against George. So if you're wondering when was the last time we had 150 points scored by a winning team, well, Steve Jones got out the record book and found it was back in 1962. And Wilt Chamberlain threw in 52 for the losers. It was the West 150, the East 130. And Congratulations to the big guy out in L.A. who I'm sure is watching. He watches everything on the tube in that multi-million dollar home of his. He has been named to Basketball's Hall of Fame. There was no question about that. A great player who's done a great deal for basketball. Just a matter of time. Good, John. He's out there playing volleyball and everything. All right. Here's the pistol now to the left. Takes it back from Irving. Westfall checking over his left shoulder for that screen. It's there, but the pass is inside underneath. And the tap-in goes down. So quickly, Dr. East gets a couple of field goals, and Kareem is loose. Good heads-up play by Westfall. He saw Kareem sprinting down the floor, beating Lanier. Good fundamental play. And Kareem's not out of his goggles on, though. He's taking them off. 
I believe that is the first time I have seen Kareem without his goggles since it. Westfall almost stole it. Maravich got it back. And I wonder, Steve, if maybe they're not broken and he doesn't have another pair. Here is Lanier blocked by Abdul Jabbar. Gervin throws it up. Julius Irving. That's a At halftime, Dick Motter told him, like an old coach told me, let's cloud up and rain all over him. And that's what the East is doing. <laughs> That's some old coach you have. I don't understand that coach. His <laughs> pass goes inside. There's a foul. Boy, in a strange scene, Kareem stayed without those goggles as you watch him in underneath. And the Big E, shades of that duel down in the Astrodome. That was the first time that Kareem was ever injured as you watch Irving go back over the head with his stuff. Elvin Hayes accidentally got a finger in Kareem's eye. That was back in college days. And, of course, later he went to the goggles just to protect himself. Marcus Johnson. Here's Gervin. East now can put a streak together. The doctor. Taken back down by McGinnis now to the west. It's three on one. Here's Westfall going back to Marcus Johnson. Blocked by Lanier on defense. And they go down in a heap. We're going to have a jump ball. The applause for hustling Lanier. Well, you see, the control is so important in basketball. The East had an opportunity to get a break. Julius serving a little bit out of control, forced up a shot, didn't get it. They came back down. Marcus Johnson having a real tough time getting the ball down. He gets it up, but he gets tied up by Bob Lanier. John, where did Hot Rod Hundley go? Is he over there in that chicken costume here this half? That <laughs> Rod's not going to show up in anything. Never know where the Rod's going to be. Started out in the upper balcony here today. Westfall going back to Kareem, who was alone. Ricochets off Maravich, misses it. Hayes control now for the East. 82 to 64. The goggles have shown up, Brent, so he's not going to go the game without them. There they are. Irving, that, perhaps he just forgot to put them on when he came out to start the half. As physical as it is sometimes, he may have lost it in a scramble <laughs> underneath the boards. Indeed, there he goes. Kareem, so the goggles are... Tucked back in place, and the Western Conference All-Stars are ready to roll again. It's 82, 66, 9, 28 to go in the third in the NBA All-Star game. A lot of cars are like pizzas. To get a lot on them, you got to pay a lot extra. But not the 1979 Chevy Chevette. It comes with a lot already on it. Chevette ignores the pizza principle. With it, you get an AM radio, reclining bucket seats, console, white striped tires, and more, all at no extra cost. So avoid the pizza principle. Hi, Richie. Get a car with a lot already on it. Get the best-selling hatchback in America, Chevy Chevette. It's a lot of car for the money. Hi, Richie. Hi, kid. Zenith presents a breakthrough. A breakthrough. System 3. System 3. The best Zenith ever. The best ever. An advanced picture tube for the sharpest Zenith picture ever. Sharpest picture. A totally modular chassis. All modular. Designed to be the best performing, the most reliable color TV in Zenith history. The most reliable. Zenith. System 3. Zenith. System 3. It's the best Zenith ever. Basketball is the all-American game played everywhere in the USA and in 142 nations of the world. But nowhere is it played better than in the NBA. As NBA commissioner, I'm also proud to be a trustee of the Basketball Hall of Fame in my hometown of Springfield, Massachusetts, where basketball history is preserved and displayed and its founders and heroes honored. We invite you to visit the Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts and our NBA arenas throughout the country. An 8-2 spurt right now by the East. Pistol Pete Maravich has made five in a row. 82-66. And the West down on the attack. Thompson takes Gervin and rotates over to the weak side. Kareem. Turn around on Lanier. They get down by Elvin Hayes. They can run to 10 to. Here's Maravich. One at the doctor. On the turnover. It'll be the West right back. Thompson trying to find daylight was fouled as he came inside. George Gervin is home, but he may get a sit on that bench there for a while. That's three straight fouls on him. They have really taken advantage of him defensively right there. Thompson just blows by him. He almost gets a three-point play. He's on the line. So David.
Thompson in his fourth pro season, third in the NBA, and he has been a member of the Western Conference All-Stars in each of those three years. Starter, as a matter of fact, each time out. 83-66 now. West in command. Maravich with a run of five straight. Crossbow on it back to the doctor. Doctor goes down. He was struck in the back. Loose ball foul. He's all right. Loose ball foul on number 30, George McGinnis. They were successful on that play a little earlier, and you'll see it coming up. Julius Irving is going behind a double pick. Maravich throws the ball high, but he gets fouled from behind. Maravich, five of six as he comes up with a miss, and Irving's got it back to the east. Free ball tapped by Lanier. On the fly, it's Thompson to West Falls, four on one. Back now to Marcus Johnson. This is where the West has been so effective. They had a four on one break that time, and if you give up that many cheap baskets, you're going to be in trouble. So only the one thing that the West has done, and the East is trying to do that now, is just put more balls in the air. You got a chance if you put it up. You got no chance if you're kicking it around in the stand, letting the chicken play with it. The chicken will turn it into a football like he did a few <laughs> minutes ago. Here's Marcus Johnson of the Milwaukee Bucks. Eighty-five for the Western Conference. Maravich, Irvin, Hayes, Lanier, and Irving on the floor for Dick Mata in the East. Pistol. Wanted to pass, and Lanier ran down the loose ball. Hey, Rob Lanier! Rob Lanier did not expect to be driving baseline in that sequence. He made the most of it. Johnson regains. Batted away from Kareem and out of bounds. Western Conference controls. Vanek, Evans, Madden, the three officials. The East has just done a better job so far playing defense. They've made the West put the ball up more from the outside, limiting their chances to get those cheap, easy breaks. Four on one at the other end, and the field goal layup is missed. Long pass to West ball. Oh, he is outstanding with either hand. I think he goes to that offhand better than anybody in the NBA. He and Bobby Jones are probably the two best in close with either hand. There's Kareem dueling Lanier. Gervin, high arch. Yank down McGinnis. Westfall. Bounce to the corner. McGinnis on the assault. Gives it up. Marcus Johnson. Pretty play that night. Looks like they've worked it together. 89 to 68. McGinnis now with four steals. And Hayes is pounded away for 11 rebounds in this game. Irving against Marcus Johnson. Got it over to Elvin. Run down by McGinnis on the fly. Here comes the West. He went to the offhand. Two Eastern Conference players go tie it up. Hayes gets the ball, and McGinnis comes right down on him. And it's going to be a turnover. Oh, you see McGinnis right there. He came on the break, got the ball. There's two Eastern players right there with the ball. They call Elvin Hayes and Pete Maravich for walking. That's George McGinnis just did a little dive on top to make sure. That was a free shot. Moses Malone. Kareem looking for a teammate rather than the shot. And finally gets to Marcus. David Thompson goes in there with the Giants. And with that great leaping ability, finds daylight above them. The doctor on the dribble. Bobby Dandridge. Hayes was hacked by McGinnis. Coming inside the lane that time on his drive. So we'll have a timeout right now. The foul going against George McGinnis. We've got six minutes and 37 seconds to go. Third period NBA All-Star game. Pontiac, Michigan. It's 91-68. The West in command. Chevrolet. America, if you're looking for a truly beautiful full-size car with more rear seat legroom, this is it. more headroom, this is it, and more trunk room, this is it. The new Chevrolet, bought and embraced by more than a million people in its first two years. 79 Caprice and Impala, the new generation car America has driven to the top. This is it, America, the new Chevrolet. 
my wife got the house. But I got the Sony. Darn. I thought they were going to give me a Sony. Most people feel very special about Sony Trinitron color TVs. Probably because Sony Trinitron color TVs are very special. You see, it's not just a TV. It's a Sony. I hope he's not disappointed. I think he was expecting a Sony. Now you've got it. A cold. Maybe the flu. You want something strong, yet safe for your aching muscles, aching bones, aching head. Misery's the leading cold capsule can't help. But Anison can. Look, all of these relieve those aches safely, used as directed. All but one are regular strength. Only Anison combines that safety with extra strength. Have a good day. Sure will. Anison, safety with extra strength for aches of colds and flu. This is Jane Kennedy, the prettiest pirate of the NFL today. And Jane, what are you doing here with basketball? Well, I'm going to be doing some of the features for the half times of the NBA game, getting into the uh, playoffs, so I thought I'd come down and take a look. Everybody should have a little popcorn at a basketball game, right? Have All right, Brent, come on back. Hi, Brent. I really resent that. The prettiest part of the NFL today. Speaking of the NFL today, my former partner, Phyllis George is here with her husband-to-be, John Y. Brown, the owner of the Boston Celtics. They've announced their engagement. Congratulations to both of them. They are to be married in March in New York City. Elvin Hayes, turn around, hit it. Basket is good by Hayes. Hayes good Irving. All at number 30. Irving and Thompson, 17 points each. Westfall, 15 points and five assists. Our individual leaders so far in this All-Star game. John Havlicek, what if you're the Easter the coach here? What, what do you tell these guys? How do they get back in the basketball game? Well, one of the things they have to do I'm is try and get low for some good percentage shots. They've been in a situation where they forced a lot of shots trying to make the spectacular play. What about that defense? The defense is definitely something they have to improve on. Walter Davis has checked in on the turnover. Hayes with control. Irving batted it free. And it's the doctor. And the doctor is trying hard to yank his conference back into it. Gurley the ice man. with the field goal. Again, they've gone with another tall lineup. They've got Irving and Gervin back in the backcourt. Dandridge and Malone and Elvin Hayes up front. If they can get an opportunity to run, they have an excellent chance of getting back into game 540 left. And oh, Westfall oh, oh. made it, and the doctor just kind of dropped the hand momentarily, and Paul went to the shot. Paul's played so much horse, he has all kinds of shots out here. Hayes, at familiar spot. Moses Malone of Houston, fouled as he came back up with the shot. And Dennis Johnson. Checking back in. Oh, number 33. Are you talking about familiar spots? Moses Malone down in deep. He's the best offensive rebounder in the league, possibly in the history of the NBA. He gets in deep. He's got to be boxed that time. No box. He's on the free throw line. As we look at Paul Westwell trying to get comfortable, as he's had a tremendous game so far. Steve, you pointed out his tremendous offensive rebounding. Moses has led the NBA in each of the last two years in that category set a league record with 437 a couple of years ago. He has 352 right now, 30-some games left. Again, it slides baseline, whistle going with the shot going up. Rudy T, Rudy Tomchanovich. If you're wondering about the face mask and the injury that Rudy suffered last year, it is not a direct result of it. That nose was broken again this year when hit accidentally. But it is such a pleasure to see this man back in basketball. He, of course, missed almost all of last season after an unfortunate incident in Los Angeles. And the Houston Rockets are playing well. Our old buddy Rick Berry now on that team. I'll tell you, it's kind of strange not only to not see John Havlicek out there, not to see Rick Berry, no one from the Celtics, the Knicks, or the Warriors. That's the first time in history that those three teams haven't been represented in an all-star game. So somewhat of a changing of the guard in the NBA. Here's Bobby Dandridge. He's been on four of these teams now. Washington, he puts one up. He came open in the middle. Nice play. 
Mondo, but Hayes now playing with those five personals, and that's why Dick Mondo wanted to give him a break. Davis gave it off, and it was for Dennis. Real good play by Lawler Davis that time. Going to the hoop, found out he was picked up by two men, hit the open man for the stuff. 96 points up there by the Western Conference already. Away from Rudy, runs it down. Control is very important in this game, and the East has been out of control. Tom Donovan, Rudy, Tom Donovan. Range, they need more plays like that. Well, Rudy T., the former Wolverine, grew up 20 miles from here. Put it in. And the big man. Yanked off by Moses, here's Julius. Irving spins free, and it's Dandridge again. And David Thompson on the foul. If they play more defense like that, they're going to come up with a lot more steals and be able to get to a situation where they can close the lead. Here we have Julius. It's a four-on-one. Going to the hoop. Didn't get the lay-in. On the line for two shots. That They're going to come up with a lot more steals and be able to get to a situation where they can close the lead. Here we have Julius. It's a four-on-one. Going to the hoop. Didn't get the lay-in. On the line for two shots. Campy Russell returns to Campy the Russell final. returns Eight and German leaves. Campy, of course, from the Cleveland Cavaliers, possesses his fine a fadeaway jump shot, as you ever want to see. Like Rudy C. Okay, from the All the East years. wants to do is get within 10 at the top of the fourth period. They got a shot at this basketball game. They're 16 down now, four minutes left. Dandridge, they need all of his. That's 81. So whittling away here in the third period. And Steve, you pointed out, I think, the key element strategically. They went to the big guards. They've gone in with the big guys. They've got Russell now playing guard. They're a little bit out of position, and the West could take advantage of them because they run their set pattern so well. Guinness and Green didn't expect it, but now he's got it. Boy, he thought it was a hot potato. It's a save. And it's a good thing he had those goggles on. <laughs> Rudy T is off of the rebound. Now, here's the doctor who has taken charge of this Eastern Conference team. Tom Janovich rolls in the hook shot. So it's 96-84, and the Eastern Conference has come to life. Maurice Lucas will check back in for Lenny Wilkins. David Thompson and East falling back there on defense trying to stop the penetration. Thompson with four seconds is off. Good rebound by Danridge. Lead now to the doctor. Here's the doctor. They are right there. 96-86, and there's the 10 points Steve Jones was telling you about. 2.59 to go in the third. McGinnis is open back to 12. Sloppy on defense. Didn't seal up the middle. Dick Mata now will bring him over. Big smile on Bernie Bickerstaff's face over there. Those two guys who head up the Washington Bullets are happy that they finally made a game of it here in Pontiac, Michigan. Introducing the new Chevy Love four-wheel drive model. Motor Trend Magazine's Truck of the Year. It's tough and economical. Love's estimated MPG is 23. That's better than many cars. It also has independent front suspension, a tight turning circle, plus higher ground clearance than many full-sized four-wheel drive pickups. Four-wheel drive Chevy Love. Tough enough for timber country. Tough and economical for you. Chevy trucks, built to stay tough. A family is about to lose its home forever. Not the home on the left. All state homeowners insurance can pay to rebuild that house. The real disaster is on the right. The owner died before the mortgage was paid. All state life has mortgage protection insurance to help give your family a debt-free home if you die. You need mortgage protection insurance too. So your family won't lose its home. See your all state agent for both kinds of insurance. Make sure your home lives on. You're in good hands with all state. A lot of companies say they have just what you need and wind up selling you just what they have. That's not how it is with Xerox. We're the only company that has 18 different copiers and duplicators to choose from and specialists who are trained to help you choose. So with Xerox, you never have to live with more than you want or settle for less than you need. <laughs> the East is coming back, and this is Dick Matter, the head coach, down by 12. <laughs> We've been here. We've got them right where we want them. We just need a point a minute. We're way ahead of schedule. Uh, if we just 
will get a good shot each time down the court. We got we a little. And if they'll just listen to me. Yeah. Just listen yeah, to the world just listen to me. No, if they just listen, they they don't make enough money. We got they got to listen to me a little more. All right, back to live action. Back to you. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Here's Dandridge now, giving it up to Irving. Mata's East is at 55 percent in the third. They are now 12 of 22. And Julius comes up to the free throw line. You know, one thing we've well, got to get hot right on to find one That's athlete in this All Star game who will say, Hi, Dad. <laughs> I mean, it is running so much in favor of mothers. On behalf, why is that about athletes? It's always high mom, Steve. Well, I don't know. I, maybe if we had a lot more women involved, they would say hi, Dad. Maybe it's just they like to go to the other gender. We see Drew serving game high score, 22 points. He's picked a lot of them up playing at that guard position. He may ask for a new slot at Philadelphia. I also think he's brought some leadership to the floor here in this period. He definitely has. He has that quality, and I'm sure that the other players look up to him, and he's playing as hard now as he's ever played because this is his type of game. Reese Lucas, banked off by Malone. It's 98 to 88, and the East can come back now to within eight. Rudy Tomjanovich has hit two quick ones during the comeback. They get three on Rudy shot. Nicely timed by Rudy T. Now it's Walter Davis Phoenix, and we've got ourselves one through it here in Pontiac. Momentum and defense is key to for the East. They have gotten down and deep and made the West take tougher shots. They leave Lucas alone. They gave him that shot. And Marisa Blonde. Now, East can make it six. Here's Bobby D to the glass. It is a six-point Irving with five field goals and two free throws this quarter. And 23-point total is the hot hand overall in this game. 139. Dennis Johnson to Artis Gilmore of Chicago. Walter Davis. 100 to 92. And Mata is in the game. He's yelling at Bannock. You can always. The first time I've seen an NBA All Star coach up yelling at a referee in years. You can always get in the game when you get close, though, Fred. We didn't see him in the first half. <laughs> I wonder if he brought the fat lady with him. <laughs> Mata is going to his favorite player, the only one he could look right in the eyes. Here comes Calvin Dr. Murray. James line three, make two. The East at this point doesn't have a true guard in the game. They're going to get Calvin in here for a little speed. They've been breaking well. Maybe he can help in that department. Well, one thing for sure, Julius Irving has been able to use his mobility out in front, get to the hoop, get to the free throw line. They're giving David Thompson a race. He is playing real hard, done a lot of jumping, a lot of running early. He may be a little tired. Irving is beginning to take advantage of his size. Okay, Steve on the floor right now for Mata. Of course, Irving's at the free throw line. We've got Moses this Malone and Rudy Tomjanovich. And we've got Bobby Dandridge out there. And we also have Campy Russell. Now for the West, we've got Walter Davis. We've got Dennis Johnson, Maurice Lucas, Artis Gilmore, and Otis Burtson. Well, John, notice that they took a lot of the showmen out of the basketball game, and that's why the East have gotten back in it. But anytime you get back to the basics, you're a lot, a lot, lot better off. Why not? It's a working man's town, and Mata went to the guys who prefer the lunch pails to the Rolls Royces. Lucas is left alone that time. Now you can leave him alone outside, but never there. <laughs> Here's Dandridge. Julius Irving, who has sparked this comeback. Here's Rudy T. going for four. Rudy T. is on the now. It's 102 to 96. We're inside of a minute third period. Well, you can make a strong case for Julius Irving. He's bringing him right back for that MVP. He's doing it all and got the people very excited. Every time the East gets a rebound, Julius is calling for it. He wants it. As the ball went into Artis Gilmore, there was a foul underneath. And I believe the doctor, yes, he is. He's over on the bench taking a rest right now. And, uh, well, he deserves it as he sparked the comeback. I really felt that time that Moses Malone may have gambled too much, jumping far out, leaving Gilmore open. So someone had to jump in, and they fouled Artis. And here's the leader of the Chicago Bulls, the man who's carried that team this year. That is for sure. In this period, that run of four by Rudy T. The doctor had 14 points, and Bobby Dandridge has added six for the East. It's amazing that Artis Gilmore has never missed a basketball game in the college or pro career. Isn't that unbelievable, John? All right, here's Otis Birdsong of Kansas City. To the middle. Bad pass. 
way in front of Maurice Lucas. Now, 16 seconds, third period. It's 104-96. East now can bring it on up for the last shot. Campy Russell. Some pressure on. <laughs> Artis Gilmore on that last shot probably shouldn't have attempted to block it because I don't think it would have gone in anyhow. Lucas throws it up. And the end of the third period, one in which the Eastern Conference decided to come back and give us a basketball game. 12 minutes to go. 104 98, the West. And the East trailing by six at 59%, outscoring the West 40 to 24 in the third period. Here's Campy Russell trying to make it a four-point game. Camp, loose ball. Dandridge will give the East a second chance. Campy Russell off again. Out by Lucas now to Dennis Johnson. Gives it to Walter Davis flying down the wing. Davis goes back to DJ. Seal up by Russell, and here's Gilmore comes inside Otis Birdsong, and there was a foul. A good off the ball cut that time by Birdsong going to the hoop. Artis Gilmore with his head up was able to pick him up. Potential two point play here. They have run their set stuff much better. That's where they have their success. I'm certain that Lenny Wilkins during that timeout told him, fellas, if we don't have a good opportunity, let's set up and exploit them defensively. Steve, earlier the commissioner mentioned that the league is going to expand into two cities, and the two leading towns at this point are Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Dallas. Now others where there's interest are Miami, Toronto, and Pittsburgh, and also being considered St. Louis and Cincinnati. So within a couple of years, we will have at least two more teams in the NBA. Murphy goes to Russell. Campy coming inside of Dennis Johnson. Moses Malone with the tap in. Five-point lead by the West. Maurice Lucas directing traffic. And the East has gone to that sagging man-to-man -man defense. Ranked down by Malone. And Birdsong has got it on the turnover. Costly turnover. Seven-point West lead. That time Moses dropped the ball down a little low. And those little people will always be snapping at it if you don't keep it up above your head. Little guys will always get in the way, and Birdsong did an excellent thing by not trying to challenge Malone. After he got the ball, put it back up. You'll see Murphy right here getting Birdsong, trying to take the charge right there. Murphy goes down. Malone comes out, and again, Bob Lanier comes in. He got a little bit more offensive mobility in the ball game than Bob Lanier. And here is Lanier with Gilmore on him and Rudy Tomjanovich. And his run is over. Dandridge goes back to Bob Lanier, who wants to put it up. Blocked away by Dennis Johnson at 6-4. Got a hand on it. Lucas to Davis. Lucas battling under the glass. Stayed with it. Watch this block shot underneath. Watch the position. He and told Big Bob, time. don't come in here with that cheap stuff. He don't blame his cheap. And he took it right away from him. Dennis Johnson leads the guards among block shots in the league. He can really get up. Last year in one game, I believe he blocked seven shots. Rudy T. Ah, he's gone cold, missing his last two. And Lucas has gone to work underneath the glass. Here's Davis. Can't leave him alone on that wing. That is a fine spot, and Dick Mata thinks the same thing. He wants to huddle over there with the Eastern Conference Stars, and I would think he's going to have to get Julius Irving back into this game because it was Irving who led the comeback of the Eastern Conference in the third period. The West now has gone back ahead by 11, and we'll be right back. Chevrolet invites you to think of yourself in a new Monte Carlo. Think of yourself surrounded by crisp, sculptured lines. Think of yourself enjoying the very real pleasures of owning a Monte Carlo. Think of yourself surrounded with personal luxury, quiet comfort, and a surprising amount of room. And when you've thought about it, come drive one and put a little distance between yourself and the crowd. 
Owens Corning built this glass house so you can see all the places insulation can save money, new home or old. Your attic. In severe climates, you may need insulating power up to R38, a foot of pink Owens Corning fiberglass. Another place to insulate, floors over unheated garages or crawl spaces, and walls exposed to cold or heat. Put your house in the pink. Get Owens Corning fiberglass insulation now. It's cheaper than oil. Ella Fitzgerald is listening to Chuck Mangione while we're recording him on Memorex with MRX3 Oxide. Now Ella's going to listen again, but can she tell if it's Chuck live or the Memorex recording we just made? Beats me! It's Memorex! Reproduction so true, we can ask, is it live or is it Memorex? is up by 11, the classic all-star game. Everybody should come out and see pro basketball. And if you don't get to the game, you ought to have a souvenir. How about a program? Huh? Thank you, young lady. Look at this. This is the 79 all-star game souvenir program. It contains features, photos, and statistics of the greatest players. And all you've got to do to get this is write to the NBA all-star program, Box 1501, Pontiac, Michigan, 48056. That's it. Beautiful program of the NBA all-star game. Come on, Brent. Would you buy a used car from Hot Rod? <laughs> He's doing it all. He's going to disappear here soon with the classy chassis. The whole tribe, I think. All right, we've got nine minutes and 51 seconds to go. Well, you predicted it. Irving's back in the basketball game. John Havlicek, he's in there with George Gervin. What do you think? Well, they have a lot of offensive power, and Julius has been the person that got them back in the third quarter, and I'm sure he's got his rest now, and it's showtime. So it's the doctor and George in the backcourt now for the East. And Irving will take Dennis Johnson underneath. And Maurice Lucas battles him. And Irving pops out. And he's tied up. He has to give it up. Now they go to the right. It's Dandridge. The battle underneath. Not there this time for the Eastern Conference. And finally, it's the big man out of Portland. Lucas with control. Now here's DJ from Seattle Supersonics. The best record in the Western Conference. After going to the championship last year, losing in a seven-game battle against Washington, and then losing their center, Marvin Webster, and Gilmore and Lanier go crashing to the floor, and Lanier cannot believe the call going against it. Well, they say it's no contact, and Lanier and Lucas are all hot right up there, but you'll see down and deep trying to pull stop. They try to get that ball inside, and they just pull each other down. You see it again, right there, bumping, hooking each other. They both got each other there. Gilmore said, well, if I'm going to go, I'm not going to go by myself. I vote for Lanier's side. All right, here's <laughs> Gilmore. Gives it up to Otis. Boots on double team. Gilmore rolls against Lanier, but can't get to the glass. Dennis Johnson. Off Maurice Lucas. He regains his control, goes to the glass, and drives back in. Loose ball foul as he came up over the top after the missed shot. Bob Lanier getting a little upset there. He didn't like that call. He didn't like being pulled down to the floor, and that time he was in the thick of the action. Now he goes down on offense. Here's Larry Keenan. And Lanier thought it was for him as you watch a replay of that. Keenan. Boy, Gervin was pushed completely out of the way that time. I think it's gotten a lot more furious underneath the basket than we're accustomed to. In well, it's funny game. time right now, and the East is really trying to get back into that time. Julius Serving wanting that ball to just beat Gervin's bat down. We got 31,000 people are watching this game today. Well, well a short thinks. change to 745. 31-745 <laughs> is Sigma. Seattle puts it up in the West, the largest crowd. You see an NBA All-Star game on hand, and they've seen a dandy one since the third period when the East went to work. Gervin. Larry Keenan rebounds. Turn around. And he was fouled. Maurice Lucas came back outside with him, and so too did Jack Sickman. The foul goes to Lucas. Foul at number 20, Maurice Lucas. Well, you see, the, the East is just trying to put more balls in the air, trying to put more offensive firepower in there. You see, he went up with the shot, got grabbed, he's on the line. They're down by 13, eight minutes left. A lot of time for them to get back in a basketball game. You saw how ferocious it was in that sequence with Artis Gilmore and Lanier locking elbows underneath. 
Keenan missing a free throw, and when you're behind like this, you can't afford to miss now with eight minutes to go. They bring some beef in here, John Appleton. Alvin Hayes comes back in the basketball game. Look for him to be on those boards and right in the thick of the action. Well, if they can stay on the boards and keep them from getting more than one shot at the other end, they'll be get back into it. One of the things that the East has to do, though, they have Julius Irving playing the offensive end from a guard position. He can't crash the board every time because they'll get a break on it. Sick bop. Two in a row for Big Jack, who has won five games more than any single player this year. Winning basket in the last two minutes for the Sonics. Keenan gives it up. Run down by Lanier. And there's a soft touch by Lanier as he moves to the hole. Twelve-point difference on the floor for the Western Conference. Dennis Johnson, Artis Gilmore, Otis Birdsong, Maurice Lucas, and Jack Sipback. Turn it over on the steal by Lanier. East comes out, and here's the doctor in the middle. lot of people to get them back within 10. Irving again being instrumental, getting down in deep, posting up and giving the ball to the open man. The West had led by 22. Bird song. And the East can make it 8 again. Irving waiting on the wing. Every time he touches it, the crowd is ready for something to happen. Tap back. Great ball. They had it that time and the ball just wouldn't go down. Dennis Johnson to Lucas. Lucas feeds it back to DJ. The Pacific Northwest hooks up that time and works a pretty play. Irving's man goes down. He came in and Sigma was there and he fouled him. So George Gervin, who grew up in this area, Oliver, three, three, Martin Luther King Jackson, High School, that's his first joined the team college four. at Eastern Michigan. We're going to have a timeout. No, we're not. Hold on. We're going to come to the free throw line. Irving has gone over to talk to Mata. Now they're going to break up. Now we're going to have the timeout. An interesting thing, we got the substitution, Gilmore, who has been wearing them down, and now they bring the finesse man in, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. They're going to go with some offensive key to the basketball game to try and maintain that lead. There's something about a Kawasaki, something deep inside. It moves you, haunts you, thrills you, taunts you, makes you want to ride. This year, the 79 Kawasaki's are dazzling eye grabbers that come with whatever muscle you need. 400s, 650s, or 1000s. Street bikes that move as good as they look. So don't let the good times pass you by. Don't let the good times. Bang. Clint Eastwood will turn you every which way but lose. In his newest film, back with action, adventure, and fun, Clint Eastwood will turn you every which way but loose. Every which way but loose. Rated PG. Now playing everywhere. Avis Super Saver rates. Special rates that save you money. Like our seven-day See America rate. Look out, L.A. Bye. Or our special holiday rates. We get to go to Grandmother's house. Yeah. And on weekends, Avis Super Saver rates can save you up to 50% off our weekday rates. 50% off? Up to 50%. See you Monday. <laughs> Call our toll-free number or your travel consultant. Some restrictions do apply. Wilkins, our head coach of the West, they're up by 12, but things are starting to get tight, Lenny. Well, the East is making a run at us, Rod, and we just got to control the boards and get that ball out. I know you're playing for keeps. You're down with those X's and O's. You're giving them a place, and everybody seems to be involved in this game. Well, you know, I think everyone should be involved. That's, it's an all-star game, and if you give guys just a few things, they can do it. Okay, Lenny, good luck to you. Thank you. Back to Brent. Thank you, Rod. And, of course, back in 1971, Lenny Wilkins was the MVP in this game. The West won that one 108-107 in San Diego. Lenny was in playing with the Supersonics, and he led a late 14-1 West surge in that game. So he knows what it is to come from behind in an all-star game. And a man who has shown a little fire, John Havlicek, Bob Lanier. Bob Lanier has really got involved in this game. He's steaming under there a couple of times. He was locked up with Artis Gilmore. Now Gilmore's out of the game. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's in there. Let's see if he maintains that intensity. And of course, we'll have that coverage of Daytona after the game. 
in the Bing Crosby Pro-Am Tournament. So automobile racing and golf still coming up today on CBS. George Gervin trying to add still another scoring title to the one he won last year. Ten-point game with six minutes and 36 seconds to go. David Thompson with the Sigma and Maurice Lucas. Dennis Johnson and Abdul Jabbar out there for the West. Kareem will work against Lanier. Turnaround as Bob thought he was going to go to the Skyhook. Well, there's not much you can do when he can get to that baseline side and you can't give help. He's another player that's unstoppable. They've got to give him help if they're going to really creep within this game here. Kareem got a hand on it too defensively that time and Julius saves it and here's Gervin and again Kareem knocks it away and the whistle was sounded. 32. It's 1 0. We have on the right side of the floor. Ball on number 32. You have a feed David in, Thompson, and now Bob Lanier thinks third. he's going to go to the sky. Hook. Does a reverse pivot here, shoots it off the glass. Nice move. George Gervin at the line. One George Gervin will shoot one free throw. David Thompson fouled him his third. Abdul Jabbar with 11 points. George Gervin with 18 points. Play the ball. George Gervin may have told Julius Serving to come on out here and learn how to play guard. You may need it later on. It saves a lot of wear and tear on your body. It's a lot easier when you run from the top of the key to the other top of the key rather than from baseline to baseline. Speaking from experience, here is Jack Sigma. Left alone is the gamble fail. The East, of course, cannot trade baskets. They still must get a run. And Maurice Lucas reaching no in basket. on Elvin Hayes. No basket. Ball at number 20, Maurice Lucas. That's his fifth. I wouldn't be surprised, Ben, if Dick Mata may put Moses Malone in there and Three really give him a big front line. To the east lineup. Well, when they had Malone in that lineup, Harry's they had an excellent rebounding lineup. He got a few offensive oh, rebounds from along with Irvin and Gervin and Rudy Tomjanovich. Again, they've taken the spectacular players out, the showmen, and they've gotten themselves back in this basketball game. 545 left, plenty of time. Elvin Hayes missing. And here comes DJ. 121 to 110. Three being tied up by Lanier. Well, they're really dueling away inside as David Thompson throws the ball. Irving back to the attack for the East. Now it's Kareem's turn on defense against Lanier. Lucas. Off to DJ. Thompson from the corner. High rebound, Hayes. And the chicken loved that one. Now, the chicken loved it. Julius Irving's the guy that really made it possible. He got out and hustled on the wing. Gervin took a look and slowed it up that sling shot. He got the big grand slam. So 21 now for the Iceman. Dennis Johnson, step out of bounds as he drove baseline. They have turned it over to the East. Rudy T gives it back to the doctor. Lanier comes outside. Now Rudy T on the right is open. They can jump back quickly. Nine away, John Havlicek. What do you tell this team on the East? Well, they have to keep playing the way they did in the third quarter and do a little more of it. Right there, you see Julius on the little gamble. Almost got away with it, but not quite. Well, Irving really wants this basketball game. He's done everything that he could possibly do. Play the defense out in front, handle the ball, just done everything. You'll see right here, he's moving. David Thompson, a little bit more familiar at that guard spot, and Irving reaches, looked like he got the ball clean. Thompson comes clean to the basket. Four fouls against Irving. Here's Hayes. Elvin Hayes. 
three minutes and 47 seconds. Here's Kareem. Double teamed and foul. And Rudy T threw the personal, his second. He was moving over to help Lanier. So it's DJ and Thompson. George McGinnis now is back. David Thompson up with a shot and a miss. And Kareem is there as Julius tried to dribble out. Thompson. Well, when they get them to miss, they can't seem to handle the ball to get the break at the other end. And the time is pulling away from them. They still have a shot. Three minutes left, but they've got to play good defense and take advantage of the turnover. They need a run right now. Here's Elvin. And the doctor. And they've gone cold, but the doctor's got it back. Sweet move. Here have a shot taken by Julius Irving. He gets inside on the rebound for a good, easy layup. He didn't quit on that play. So the East readies now for that last run at 2.45. West brings the shot clock down to five. Inside of five. Out goes the bar in two seconds travel. Looking for someone to give the hot potato to. And we're going to have a timeout here. The Silver Dome. 127 to 118. The West leading. Last year in Atlanta, the East beat the West 133 to 125. As you see our overhead view here at the Silver Dome. Lenny Wilkins talking to the West. It's hard to figure out exactly what he might be diagramming right now. the ball back. That's the guess. Go first. Now, you probably have a drive off of, uh, if you don't have Elvin down low for the turnaround, then use Lanier's drive. Make sure you get a Bob, you're, you're in a high screen. Here's, here's Julius coming over. You're going to give it back to him. Okay, you come hard as you can. Rudy here. There. And E, e, e is going to come to here, and then you go out and set the screen for Julius. Set a nice screen for him, and you've got the give and go on that. We need a basket now. Three-point play would be beautiful. Okay. All right, go, man. At some point, all coaches get greedy. <laughs> Not satisfied with just a field goal. Coach Mata wants the whole loaf. It's 127 to 118. Well, that's a pretty good job of Vegan over there by him. Fellas, please give me something. <laughs> we got a shot. I'm sure that Lenny Wilkins has told the West squad, let's use up some of that clock, too. Sigma pops out, and the doctor has to throw it, and Gervin's there. Gervin comes in. Tough defense by the West, a little bit too aggressive that time, and Abdul Jabbar has assessed the personal. Kareem not agreeing with the call back to the baseline. Popped out on the double team. They gave him that look. Got to be crazy, not me. I didn't foul. George Gervin at the line, one plus the penalty. So Gervin trying to become the first guard in NBA history to win the scoring title twice, and of course he could do it in back to back seasons. This man has shot. 54% from the field. That's better than even Oscar Robertson or Jerry West did during their great careers as guards. Now it's 127, 119 at 210. Jack Sigma. Guarded by Tom Janovich. He turns around on him. Off with the miss, but the East loose ball. Sigma goes to the floor and We've got two players tied up down there. Uh, John, who says they don't want it? The East diving on the floor for the basketball right here. Tom Donovan's doing an excellent job of making Sigma put that ball up from the outside. Again, they can't handle that rebound, but you'll see some hustle by Sigma and Gervin. West controls at the two-minute warning. Taking their time. East trying to force some missed shots. They'll gamble on defense. They'll go to the double team now and pop out. Kareem. Double team by Rudy. And on the turnover, the East gets the break they're looking for. Here's Elvin Haynes for the slam dunk. So Elvin goes to the whip. He forced the turnover and brought it in. Now it's a six-point game at 127, 121, and 137. And 
the East again will try to pressure with defense. They prep the ball out there. Dennis Johnson comes free to McGinnis. Open man is Kareem. Puts it to the floor right now. Shot clock inside 10. Thompson's alone. Big basket. And Mata's going to use a timeout. That is a big score by David T. right there. Making it 8 again at 124. So we have come down to the last run here. The high scores so far. Julius Irving with 27 and Thompson with 25. We're going to show Grandma our new Chevy Malibu. A freshly sliced apple pie called Chevy Malibu. The 1979 Chevy Malibu has the right room, right headroom, leg room, and trunk room. The right size, new family midsize. Looks like Bill bought himself a new Malibu. The right ingredients, like an impressive mileage rating and a beautiful body by Fisher. It's got the right name, Chevrolet. No wonder it's a family favorite. A fresh new slice of apple pie. Cold Chevy Malibu. The Miller people promised me a case of light beer if I could keep this ball spinning for the length of this commercial. Now, I'm not one to show off, but I do just about anything for a few light beers. You see, light's got a third less calories than the regular beer, and it's less filling, so I can stay loose. But the thing I like best is the taste. And I believe at this time that somebody here owes me a case of that taste. Oh, hey, Thanks a lot, boys. See you around. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. Hi, Charlie. Attention, Track 2 users. Attention, Aptra users. Get ready for really clean shaving. Introducing Ultrex from Schick Super 2. The only twin blades with one push cleaning. Watch. One push pushes out soap and stubble for a clean start on really close shaves. Look. Ultrex slides on Track 2 razors. Clicks on Aptra razors. Get new Ultrex with one push cleaning. Only Schick Super 2 Ultrex has one push cleaning. They are saying, Steve Jones, don't worry. The men on the floor are going to carry us home now in the Eastern Conference. Here is George Gervin. The last run time, Gervin threw one up, but there was a foul as he did. It's against Thompson. That's his fourth. Foul on number 32, and, you know, David Thompson. Members of the Detroit Pistons Classy Chassis are now collecting the most valuable player ballots from the 300 sports riders at today's game here in Pontiac. The votes are going to be entered George into the Gerber Honeywell the mini computer Beijing. installed here at the Silver Dome. Now, a few seconds after those ballots are fed to the system's card reader, the Number MVP winner's name will automatically appear on a video screen. We will be showing you that and announcing who the MVP is, and we've got a substitution, Steve. Yeah, Calvin Murphy's come in. I thought he had a shot at that MVP, but he didn't get too much playing time today. They went to the big boys, and the little guy had to take a rest. Six point West lead at 112. Taking their time, Gervin comes out and DJ picked him up. And Thompson again is left alone, and now he goes to McGinnis. Back deeply to DJ. Sickman's over there. West moves it. Shot clock goes down inside of five. Crushes time. Rolls the hook up. Irving battling for the rebound against McGinnis. And out of bounds. And he go to the east with 53 seconds. An important trip right here. Well, John Havlicek, what's the play you would call to get the Easter basket? I'd probably get it to Julius Irving because he has a pretty good hot hand now. He didn't do it that time, but you try and get it to a guy who has a potential three-point play, which Dick Mata was hoping for on the previous trip down the floor. Oh, well, Calvin Murphy oh, thought he was bowling for a dollar somewhere. He rolled that ball into Julius Irving. You can't do much with it when it's down on the floor like that. The big guys have to go down, come back up. Irving really never got the handle on the ball. George McGinnis was on the line as a result of it. 47 seconds left, six points away. And two big misses as far as the East is concerned. But he hits the penalty. Seven point difference and not much time. East must hurry. Blocked away. Dennis Johnson and goaltending is called. Giving you an example of just how high that man, number 24, can sky. They've got to have a good defensive series here in order to get a turnover and get a chance to score again quickly. Double teaming the ball, leaving the open man. 
and the two guards play with it. Inside of 30 seconds, Murphy comes out on Dennis Johnson and had to foul him in that situation. Well, they have nothing to do but foul. they got to stop that clock. The West is going to hold the basketball. They've got the lead. Everything going for them, 24 seconds is all they have to use up. There's 28 seconds left in the basketball game. to 125 and that big early lead may have just been too much for the East Irving on the turnaround After J, 132 to 127 it's 20 seconds and five points across the line McGinnis drives on Lanier and he was blocked well Point done foul. You got that much time left. You think McGinnis took a good effort that time. They could have just run the clock out and not even a chance to. Well, and he also risked a, risked a chance of hurting himself going in there like that. And in a situation like this, when you're that far ahead, just ball movement is going to keep it away from the defense, allows you to win the game. George took a chance that time. And so the Western Conference All-Stars are going to win this game here in Pontiac. A little bit of frosting there by Big McGinnis, the man who played brilliantly in defeat, Julius Irving to George Gervin. The Iceman the shooting range. The Iceman with 26 points. And it is over. 134 to 129 is the final score and of course right now they are tabulating those ballots for the most valuable player in this game and there you see the Honeywell computer being tabulated David Thompson has drawn a lot of backing and David Thompson is the winner of the most valuable player award there he is from the feet from the Denver Nuggets the man who they call the Skywalker did it all here this afternoon in the first half and then when the East made its move in the second half Thompson was able to come back off the bench and help him put down the lid shut. Well again your man Paul Westfall got a leg up but he couldn't get it down David Thompson snuck in there and and ran away with that MV, he, MVP. He got a lot of big hoops for them down the stretch when the East was coming back and of course that's what you want a most valuable player to do. Now, let's go to Hot Rod Hundley. I with me, the commissioner of the NBA, Larry O'Brien, to present the most valuable player award. And Larry O'Brien, this was the biggest crowd ever to see an NBA All-Star game, over 30,000 fans. Also, the biggest crowd ever to see a basketball game in the state of Michigan. It was not only the biggest crowd, I think it was the greatest game ever. Even the games you were in, Hot Rod, weren't as great as it, were they? I thought it was a great game, and this young man that uh, won it, tremendous certainly game. deserving. I know there's some disappointment among Eastern uh, fans, but they're, overall there's great enthusiasm about the game. But beyond all that, David Thompson is the most valuable player, and he uh, justly deserves the award and the judgment, I'm sure, of everyone in here. Let's give him a big hand, and let me congratulate you, David. It was a great game, and you were great in it. Let me present it to you here. This is the trophy symbolic of the most valuable player. I don't know whether I can lift it or not, but I'm going to try. David, uh, thanks a lot. You know, it was really an outstanding game from the spectators' point of view, and I was just really glad to be a part of it. Uh, glad to see this fantastic crowd come out to uh, celebrate the All-Star game, and I'm really happy that I won the most valuable player award. David, you don't have a problem getting that baby home. How are you going to get it put in your luggage? Well, I'm sure I'll, I'll get it there some way. You know? okay. All right, thank you, and uh, we really enjoyed the All-Star game. I hope you did, too. Back to Brent Musburger. All right, Rod, thank you very much. Now, in addition to being selected the MVP by the writers, David Thompson is also the Chevrolet MVP, and Chevrolet will present a check for $2,500 to the General Scholarship Fund of North Carolina State. Thanks to Sandy Grossman, Bob Stenner, Chuck Milton, and the rest of our crew. John Havlicek, Steve Jones, and Hot Rod, Run, Hot Rod Hudley for hey, yeah, this afternoon. <laughs> I'm Rod Musburger, and don't forget, coming up next, 24 Hours of Daytona. So long, everybody. The NBA on CBS is a presentation of CBS Sports.
Tomorrow night, Archie and Edith play matchmakers in a special Monday edition of All in the Family. Join the fun at 8, 7 Central and Mountain on CBS.